<laughs> Hi, hello. Hi, everyone. My name is Muti6, and I am today going to be joined by, let me get this set up first, my lovely, lovely co-casters on the right side, the Kovac. In the middle, mm -hmm. the brilliant mind of Doom Eternal, Drake Foes. And on my left side, your right side, the greatest of all time, Zai. <laughs> Dad, well, about, you about. know how it goes. I mean. And in the crowd are a couple of my friends currently. First of all is Retro, the, anth the anthology legend, Bloodshot, the, the greatest mind of Doom. The God Gamer. The God Gamer, Deceptics, wonderful runner, top runner for Borderlands, as well as this game, and also Waifu. Just shouting out my friends. <laughs> <laughs> and immediately we're going to get started here. Time is going to start. So I'm going to count from 2, 1, 0, start. All right? This game's a bit weird. It's a two second animation. All right, we're getting ready. Two, one, start. Ooh, spooky. Ooh. Here we go. go. So this is Doom Eternal 100% uh, restricted. Uh, in our community, 100% is a little bit different than other communities. We're required not only to collect everything that we, we can collect in this game, but we're also require, uh, required to upgrade everything. And uh, the routing is rather complicated. We'll touch on it here and there as we go through. Um, the other part is the restricted part, which is uh, just some limitations on the tricks we can use. Despite the name, it's actually more like you're going to see more tricks because the tricks you would see otherwise would be so overpowered that you would see nothing else. So even though it's called restricted, it's more uh, uh, you're going to see more tricks. You know, I'm excited. I haven't fun. seen like half of these tricks. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I love this run so much. It's just got so much execution of like the, the mechanical combat tech, the movement tech. Everything about it is amazing. I, I'm so happy to see it at GDQ. So the run starts off a little slow. We don't have all of our tools right away, so we're going to do a quick little tutorial fight. This fight lasts about 30 seconds. Um, the spawns are random, so it's kind of a, a little bit of a reset point at the beginning of the run, as you can see. <laughs> Sometimes uh, we have some pacifist imps, and we just quickly uh, get out of the fight. Um, and maybe you're going to do... Are you going to do the caco punch? I you're can gonna, try. You can try. Okay. If so, I get lucky. So earlier you saw him punch this box and then just fly up and do some stuff. That's called a punch boost. He's going to attempt to do a similar thing over here. Um, in this game, when you punch something, it gives you momentum. And if you punch something that has no collision... Oh, oh I didn't get it. He was going to try and oh punch the gosh. floating meatball up there. But... He's going to try again, and he's going to try and skip this fight. He's going to okay, lure a zombie okay. over to the side Pretty here. Sure oh. Hi, come here. Would this you please go up? Right? Thank you. Oop, oop. Don't kill. Oh, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh, by the way, we're the playing zombie. this on Nightmare. That's the traditionally how this category is played on. Uh, so it can be quite punishing. Um, unfortunately, yeah, of course, this is a reset point. Uh, so the zombie can misbehave here. and not follow you. Please. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh. This is yes. the first mini boss. Oh, there we go. That's okay. a punch. All the way oh, up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> What is what? Come oh, on, you haven't seen this before. Ah. I mean, <laughs> punch boosts are amazing. Yeah, I mean, back in my so day, this wasn't right. back, back in my day. It wasn't a thing. That you know? looks extremely overpowered, and it would be if we didn't have out of bounds out bell, of bounds rules. Luck. So uh, yeah, we want to hit the bell for good luck. It is it, it manipulates the RNG somehow. Nope. <laughs> I went the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> wrong category. <laughs> wrong category. <laughs> so yeah, he's back gonna go sure. after some collectibles here. Um, there's a bunch of weird fights in, in Hell on Earth. He has to kill some fodder here as well. Um, he's going to drive by. Uh, he's going to try and do another punch boost off a dead spider's turret. Uh, yes, apparently you can punch yep. a dead spider's turret and get some speed. It doesn't save some time, but it's really, really cool. You might have noticed that he's also gaining some speed whenever he hits the ground. And uh, it's actually fairly involved to get that correct. Oh, is this a tricky one too? Oh, oh, oh I might die here. One of the harder tricks in Doom Eternal. Key yeah. card skip. Didn't hit it. It's fine. We hit the diet. Yeah. Nice. The diet. Okay. <laughs> Oof. What kind of diet? Are we talking about like diet coke? Oh, oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. That He's is gamers. Okay. That's fine. We have delirious a zombie. It's okay. The checkpoint's right here. So this category is quite brutal. Just the nightmare part is already brutal. Uh, you start the game with such low, uh, low health, and it can be quite brutal. A tiny mistake, even like even like that, he just missed a tiny trick, fell into a death plane, lost his, all his health, and all of his buffer was gone. Um, so it can be quite stressful. Luckily, we are not playing Ultra Nightmare, <laughs> which is a permadeath mode. Mm -hmm. so, so is so four health enough to survive? Oh yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Watch this, monkey. monkey. Wee. Nice. <laughs> so that's another punch. Was there's an invisible entity there that would just. The developers forgot to remove, and uh, the punching part of the entity was still there, so we can just punch it, uh, which was quite quite a surprise discovery. Oh, this fight's so hard to get Found right. Two years after the game came out. Yeah. Right here, I'm just trying to clear enough stuff to spawn this spider. I'm going to try to clear this spider out. 
So this is one of the most uh, combat-heavy categories, and uh, there's so much weapon tech that he's going through. Like, for example, here you're Three. seeing him uh, punch after he shoots the sniper rifle weapon, the precision bolt. Uh, and when you shoot the when you shoot a weapon, punch, and then switch to the weapon that you're holding, uh, the game almost thinks that you oh. switch to the fist and then switch back, canceling the cooldown of the weapon. Yeah, the game thinks that you're pulling out the same weapon, but yeah. also different. The Schrodinger's uh, weapon swap. <laughs> right. So yeah. the, all those are like four actions just to get one snipe off. So yeah. there's there's a lot of actions per minute whenever you're using uh, yeah. different weapons in this game. It's fantastic. Yeah. Hi, right, tentacle. Goodbye. So here he's gonna try a trick that. <laughs> no, no, no one seems to be no able to do No one is good at. No one is good at this. But oh, oh there we go. Oh, nice. Okay, you know what? I'll take it. Yeah, you can climb. Yeah. Take it, please. So that's another punch boost. Uh, we don't quite understand it. It's very precise. Uh, you're trying to punch the grate, which is punchable. Uh, and let me clarify with the punch boost. Every time you punch something that is punchable, you'll get lurched forward or sent forward with a lot every of speed. Every frame you get added speed. The wall is obstructed. Yeah, and that's how it works. Just every frame. And we're just canceling the ending part no. where it takes away your speed. Um, or rather, we're just not even getting to that point because we're flying past it. Um, okay. Here, another choreographed fight. He's looking for some imps, and then he's going to chop the spider. Mm -hmm. I think we've done just enough. There should be two or three left right now. I'm going to yeah. take this cap even out. One, so again, in the early game, three. a lot of random fights, but there is uh, quite a bit of choreography. It's going to become way more choreographed as the run continues. Um, but yeah, I think we have time for a couple of donations. Mm -hmm. You got it. And we have some donations coming in. The Real Empty Box donates $500 <laughs> and appropriately wow. says, okay. now this is some hard gaming. We are gaming. Capital H, capital G there. Hard gaming. Oh, that is hard. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm, wow. Anamorphin95 donates $25. Says, who cares if I destroyed my sleep schedule staying up for this run? It's doom, baby. Shout out to the Woo! quintessential Let's gamer, gamer himself for hosting. Oh, please. <laughs> Got time for some more? Sure. Okay, there, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a few more. Yeah. Okay, sure. Hazy Draws, donate $25. Says, watching this on a sneaky tab while in the office. Let's rip <laughs> and tear. Must remember to not sign off my work emails with rip and tear again. <laughs> So these bunny hops that he's hitting, um, they're actually complicated to do because if you happen to hit jump the very frame you touch the ground, you don't gain any speed. And uh, the timing on it's a little tricky. Yeah, so specifically in this game, some of you playing casually may have noticed this. If you drop from a tall height, uh, you'll actually do this landing lurch animation. Uh, and that lurch will just kind of send you forward. And in this game, what we do is we just weaponize that. We, when you jump right after that, lurch animation that gives you a little bit of momentum, you can actually just gain speed. And at, sl at small heights, like you see right here, where he's just jumping off the ground, uh, you can still gain some little speed, even though it's not that uh, noticeable. So here he's going to pick up a, a crystal. The routing behind uh, these crystals is rather complicated. We're not going to get into it. But generally speaking, uh, you want to specifically time when you pick up the ammo, ammo crystals uh, in particular, because those refill BFG, which we will get yes. to at a, uh, at a later point. So here comes Exaltia, the second level of the game. Uh, this is where the run starts to pick up. Yes. We start to uh, yeah, gather our tools. Go ahead, uh, oh, this oh. is a hard trick. Oh, he gets the. F ooh. Oh, 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 I'm so sad. <laughs> That's fine. So he was trying to hit a, a, a lurch hop, one of those bunny hops that accelerates you. That we call them lurch hops or ABHs. Two in a row. To, for the ABH, not to be confused with accelerated backwards hop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what? Is that a? That's really a thing. Yeah, yeah, from Half Life. Game. Yeah, from Half Life too, I think. Yeah, we call it to the term, and now we actually understand what it means, and we call them lurch hops because we understand that the mechanic that gives you the speed is, is the landing lurch mechanic. Okay, okay, like Look at this that. guy. Ah, so that Kako demon spawns, and it just has no pathing. And when a demon has no pathing, it just dies. <laughs> so that's, uh, <laughs> literally, all, all you have to do is standard of the spawn location, <laughs> and, and it just dies. Uh, so here we pick a blood punch, which is a, a melee attack. You can recharge it by uh, glory killing enemies. We're not going to glory kill it often because it's rather slow. Um, but here comes the more important upgrade. This is the first rune of the game, and we're going to immediately pick up mm. air control. Great yes. choice. Best rune. Best rune yeah. in the game. Very best rune in the game. I think every single category gets this rune. It's very, very important that you get this rune. Um, it opens up. It allows you to compare it to... You saw the... Actually, no, I didn't see the... <laughs> I was watching a Titanfall video earlier. Really. Um, but <laughs> in this game, you start off with rather low air acceleration, which means you can't really turn that much in the air. Um, and this air control rune actually allows you to turn much faster. And you can see us, uh, you can, saw on Hell on Earth, he wasn't able to turn tight corners that, uh, that much easily when he was uh, 
when he was bunny hopping around, but now that we have the air control rune, it's not that much of a problem. We can start turning much faster. Wow, this strategy is kind of risky. Like, I don't really say it on Nightmare Run. Oh, oh, oh. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. He doesn't Unfortunate. have to kill that first Kako Demon, right? Yeah, that first Kako Demon is not required, but uh, we want to kill it because this is Nightmare and it's very oh. scary. Right. So unfortunately, he... <laughs> Uh, blood Punch for some reason was like, oh, I, you want to glory kill him? Well, no, you're going to Blood Punch him instead. And <laughs> yeah, very... and you might have noticed we also chainsawed at the end of a previous fight, and Chainsaw, as soon as you activate it, triggers the demon's death so that uh, the, the door can open, whereas glory kills don't until after the animation's done. Yes. So that's... Chainsaw fast, glory kill slow. That's another reason why glory kills are slow. We would we would do a lot more glory kills if the if the it, like the instant the glory kill started, uh, the enemy's HP went to zero, but unfortunately Ooh. only Chainsaws do that. There's some, some other uh, interesting quirks about Chainsaw. Uh, when you have enough fuel, you can one-shot a heavy, uh, which is very valuable e even in the even all across the game. So we actually route our Chainsaw very precisely here. And now we pick up Dash. Uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of tech with the Dash, and we're going to slowly introduce it. He's going to do the first one right here, which is a wall dash. Uh, I like so to call dash wave tech. dashes. Thank you very much. Wave that? Wall Let's, dash. I, I don't get that. me started. <laughs> So in this game, when you dash, there's three phases of the dash. There's the part where it accelerates you, the part where it just maintains the speed after a cer uh, for a certain amount of time, and then there's the bit where it decelerates you. And pretty much all of dash, dash tech that's allowed in uh, re the restricted rule set, uh, all it does is that it cancels that third phase so that we don't lose our speed. So including here, we're going to uh, bonk against the wall, and that cancels the... Um, uh, the deceleration, and we were able to maintain a, a piece of that speed. And it's very particular. It's like the 45 degree angle matters. Yeah, so if you go there's... over, you you get that cancellation. If you go under too far, then you don't gain as much speed from the dash. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of skill in lining up the dashes to hit the wall. Yeah, uh, you can do it diagonally. You can do them aiming straight at it. Oh, oh. nice try. Yeah, so there, the wall dashes in particular are quite finicky. Uh, there are some surfaces that are... Um, that you can't wall dash on, but most of them you can. And like Kovac said, it's actually kind of simple. All you do is just jump, dash into it at 45 degrees or less, and you'll get some speed. Um, and it, it's quite a tech that we didn't actually, we knew it existed, but we didn't know the magnitude of its power until quite recently, relatively. Uh, the game was out for like a year, and we even knew it existed, but it was, uh, we only really took a full effect of it quite recently, relatively recently. OK, um, so I stopped playing like a year ago, and I am literally oh. shocked. Also at <laughs> Resident Beast. <laughs> yeah, so Zaya used to be the world record holder for this category, and uh, you stopped playing like right before all this tech. <laughs> it's just like back-to-back yeah. -back tech kept coming yeah, up. Yeah. It's still building. Like, uh, there's still weapon tech that's really hard to make use of, but it technically can speed the run up. So this category and this game in general is going to continue to get more and more skill involved in it. I yeah. love it. And it's easy for fights to get really chaotic when uh, when you're trying to be safe here. So, yeah, as you can see, but it is still pretty choreographed regardless. Like we know where all the spawns are happening, and we, we, when we don't, we get very grumpy. <laughs> yeah, at best, uh, mm. like at worst, rather, we know the target priorities. So we're trying to kill specific things. Yeah. So like in this case, what he was trying to do was he was trying to complete part of the fight while getting the secret. Fortunately, it didn't quite work out. Uh, that just kind of happens, jump, unfortunately. Dash, dash, jump. Thank you, Tilia. <laughs> yeah, you can skip the, the goo section. I think we touch goo only once, so I'm sorry, Hugo. <laughs> we like so, to stay in the fun zone. Yeah. So one thing we kind of okay. glossed over there, he just, uh, he just picked up the power core. For those of you playing casually, you might be wondering how he's doing that. He's skipping the animation. It's actually quite simple. All you have to do is switch weapons. Uh, and if you have uh, no weapons, you can punch and shoot the combat shotgun. That's what he did at the very first secret at the beginning of the game, if you could remember that far back. And uh, so we just built up a heat blast for the plasma gun, and this is going to be useful very soon, not just because you right-click and it's supposed to do like 700 damage, but if you hold left-click for a while and you get like eight shots off, and then you change weapons and right-click real fast, it'll get three to four blasts off. Yeah, yeah. So really weird. You can one-shot this spider if he gets a, a good heat blast on it. The we individual it. plasma shots just straight up become the heat blast itself. There yeah, it there you go. Nice. And that's called <laughs> yeet blast. I love it. Can you say that again? What is it called? Yeet Woo. Blast. Yeet Blast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we're doing a glory kill specifically because we're getting blood punch back. Uh, just that's another instance of ammo routing. Or, yeah, well, it's ammo routing. Building from the Yeet Blast. Yeah, and he almost mm -hmm. oh, did a ton of damage to it, though. Oh, no, yeah, that that's good. Nice. It's kind of challenging. Like, you got to, like, learning heat I still suck at Yeet Blasting. <laughs> it, it is kind of challenging, but, uh, yeah. 
it really is incredibly powerful in the early game. But nice. believe it or not, we're going to pick up weapons that completely outclass cool. it. Nice. Um, also, whenever we get hot swapper that makes weapon switches faster, that three to four times combo drops down to two, so it's yeah. less useful later we'll in We'll get game. to that, man. So you're usually doing a secret encounter. I think we have time for a couple of donations. Mm -hmm. And I have a couple of donations for you. Uh, first off, Umbra Penumbra here with Ooh, $50. Hey, says, yo, Umbra, what's uh, going on? Let's go mute, rip, and tear, buddy. Twitch.tv slash Umbra Penumbra underscore. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, and then, oh, here's a good one. A tall shade of the color red Ooh, hey. with $666. Let's go. <laughs> so upcoming is a rather <laughs> rather challenging trick. Uh, we call it Weaver. Uh, we're going to skip this fight up here with a single spider, okay. and we're going to do it with a, well, uh, with a wall dash here. I've death. seen this, and it's and still punch ridiculous boost. to me. Oh, oh, it's alive. A zombie has been irresponsible <laughs> okay. yes. and didn't die. Okay. So he's setting up a wall dash here and a, a, and a, da and a vertical dash boost, and here he's going to do a punch boost. Oh, oh. Okay. That's fine. It's worth resetting. Here. Yeah, it's, wor it's, worth, uh, it's worth reloading here. So another thing we mentioned, another piece of uh, dash deck. Okay, hold on. Oh, that's unfortunate. That this is. trick is rather finicky. It is. Very but it's still worth it to go, th go for, and it's kind of awesome. That's <laughs> insane, yeah. isn't it? That this saves that much time. Yeah, it does, yeah. Just got to set up in the right place. Come here, dash here, make sure I'm lined up. There we go. There All we the go. way. Oh, it's beautiful. Bounds, but I'm actually inbound. Right over a, a, big it's, big it's a huge invisible there wall right there, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a huge invisible wall. You can actually get a punch boost high up to, to hit the ceiling of the map. So uh, yeah, it, that punch boost is rather powerful. So this is the only goo that we're going to touch in the entire game. Once again, we deeply apologize, Hugo Martin, the lead developer of this video game, was <laughs> very, very happy about goo. We're only going to touch it here just to pick up a crystal just because we have to. Uh, and so notice here, if you've been paying attention to his ammo, his ammo got refilled there. And here he's going to do a storage. Whee. There you go. Whee. So again, that. We can. There are a bunch of names for all this tech, like vertical dash boosts and dash storage, but they all do the same thing. They're all converting. It's, oh, it's there. zoom, zoom, oh, really. Yeah, that's yeah. Yes, nice I got skip. it. And there are different combinations. Like there, he hit the, uh, he scrolled or jumped at the same time he did that vertical dash boost, and that gives you a, uh, a little bit more height because when you jump up ramps, it converts uh, your vertical speed okay, and adds gate. it to your jump. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh, this is, okay, there's a real technical ex yeah. explanation here. It used yeah. to be super RNG, but Drake, tell him about it. So I was, uh, I don't actually remember the context of this, but I was talking to Elizabethany, a uh, modder of this game, and she was teaching me how to read the entity files of this game, and we were looking through this uh, fight specifically, and we figured out that the spawn locations of every enemy here are based on where you're looking. So he, you saw him there. He was looking at him like standing in that specific please. spot and looking at that, this location. Get it, please. Oh, what's alive? And that's because he, uh, he's oh, no. forcing the uh, revenants to spawn in a spot that's in. Oh, yeah. Nice. There, there we go. Nice. There we go. Fast gate. Nice. The yeah. E blasted the end. All right, I'm going to do something cool here if I can get it. Oh, oh. wait. Oh. Oh, oh, so close. So Double there are supposed to be six heavies during that fight, but if you uh, kill them fast enough that, like, and have everything dead before some of the next ones spawn, that ends early. So yeah, you yeah. killed three out of six of them, and uh, the best you can get is like two out of six. Yeah, yeah. So what he was trying to do there is he was trying to uh, force them to spawn in a location that, for some reason, they just spawn out of bounds and die. Uh, so he was looking in that specific spot to force them to spawn those locations that are bad, and that way he, has to, he doesn't have to kill as many. And because the fight is poorly configured, nice. it means, nice. oh, OK, this, I shouldn't have been talking. This trick awesome. They're just so Ooh, dense. I oh. barely made that. Um, Woo -hoo -hoo. Nice. This run is so dense. Yeah. This, this, uh, fight, I, this fight's just, let's watch it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I think I should be good. One more. Can you go a little bit slower just for me? Oh, oh yeah. Beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. That's Jeez. harder than it looks. Oh, my Perfect. goodness. Well, now oh. we have a okay, that was kind of imp kind of. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of awesome. Kind of impressive. That was kind of awesome. Yeah. I guess. Oh, do you have time for uh, donations? Yeah, a few yeah, donations. Sure. Absolutely. First of all, I'd like to shout out a couple of incentives we have on deck right now. There's the upgrade, the Liminal Ranger run to the true ending. Only need about $1,800 for that, if my math is on. And then the one I'm really interested in is the Ocarina of Time Beta Showcase. That's a bonus game. High incentive for that, but if we start putting money towards that, we'll get there. Uh, we got some donations on that note. 
RG Daxter with $25 writes in, one of the friendliest community members around our mute. Thank you for doing this and thank you for the legendary lineup of commentators. Lots of love from the best, worst speedrunner that you know. <laughs> <laughs> nice, thank you. I love RG. Uh, RG's awesome. So this is uh, the first fight of the game, except again, <laughs> literally the same amount of enemies, just in a different location. Uh, so I think a few, like one more donation. Absolutely. Uh, Mini Fish donates $350. Oh. Writes, good luck, Mute, from Alu, Irina, and I. You got this. It's Satru. Congrats, Mini Fish, on the new world record in Doom 2016. Woo, congrats. Holy. So right there, he did what we call a fade-in boost. Uh, just like before with all the dash tech, he's dashing during like a fade-in after getting teleported. And that, uh, and if you dash like towards the end of it, it just cancels once again the... Uh, the part that takes away your speed, and you just maintain a huge amount of speed and fly out of the portal. Man, Mute's movement is just so smooth. Yeah. Uh, everything in this game is hard. Literally everything is hard, and he's nailing this movement. Yeah. <laughs> Except for me dying like 800 times. Well, that's just, <laughs> that's just Nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nightmare will hit yeah. you. Nightmare is difficult. And right here at the beginning, we're going to see quite a large skip. Ooh, and hopefully me, I can hit it. Give me the Ultra Bone boost. Oh, yes. Hopefully. Boost that bone. Let me do a wall dash right here, gain some speed, try to hit this B hop right here. Make a ramp dash. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, I can't hit that. That's so hard. So he was trying to, so first he did the wall dash, and then he was just go, hoping for a good lurch hop. Uh, and then that speed is enough to just bounce off the bone and fly straight up to the secret. And that saves quite a bit of time. Uh, otherwise, he'd have to do a vertical dash boost, which is kind of clumsy. So this is, I think, the final instance of the Yeep Blast. Uh, second last, if, actually, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anymore. I don't know it. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, wait. One shot. Four times. Yeah. Four that times. was beautiful. That's like the best you can get there. You can one shot. That guy it. didn't even have a chance yeah. to think. So he just upgraded uh, Hot Swapper. And Hot Swapper, you want to talk about it, Jake? Yeah, sure. It, it just allows you to switch weapons faster, which uh, turns out to be quite powerful. That's why he's upgrading it first. Uh, in other categories, we'd upgrade faster dasher first, but in this category, we just need the uh, we just need the switching speed, which, as you can see, is quite fast there by the precision bolt sticky bomb shots that he just shot. Uh, this fight's on quite a bit of a timer, so you don't have to rush it. But oh, come on, come on, Mank there we please. go. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> Mank Miss will just do that. In terms of upgrade routing, the only upgrades that we really actually kind of need uh, are the are the hot swapper that he actually just got and the faster dasher, which we'll get later in this run. Uh, everything else is like kind of just a convenient upgrade that saves like a little bit of time. Um, oh. oh, yes, okay. there you go. That's why when you punch cancel uh, your shots, you have a chance of doing that. That's so. the drawback. Yeah. It's always dangerous. Yeah. So just a few more fights, and then soon we're going to get the rocket launcher. Are you going to, yeah, he's going to go for a pretty hard strat, or not a hard strat, but a pretty cool punch boost here. See? He's actually lowering, oh, unfortunately. Oh. Oh. He's lowering his frame rate there because punch boosts work at uh, giving oh, you Oh, oh, oh close one. Close one. Rocket launcher time. Okay, going into this arena with 17 health. Yeah, that's very spooky. It is. But yeah. I'm feeling it. I just expect to die if I'm that low. <laughs> the early game is, is quite scary in this category. As soon as we start getting tools, uh, it's not really the health that saves us. I we pick up a lot of health. It's actually just the speed at which we can kill demons. Like, we kill demons so much faster in the mid-to-late game. Actually, that that's, that's actually perfect. how we stay alive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was flawless. Yeah, it was a good fight, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's getting his groove, I, I can tell. So that rune we picked up, it just uh, increases your speed after uh, you glory kill or chainsaw. It seems like that would save a lot of time, but it actually doesn't really, just because uh, in other categories, we'd skip it because the Picking up the rune take a long, takes a long time. The animation's a very long uh, animation. Yeah, we're using the barrels in the environment nice. here. There you go. Clean. <laughs> There's an instance of him chainsawing. Uh, because the chainsaw kills the very instant that you start it, uh, and there's a timer after this fight ends, you want to end it by chainsawing, because the chainsaw becomes free. It doesn't cost you any time to get. So now he picks up Lock on Burst, yes. uh, which is an incredibly powerful upgrade. When this game first came out, uh, it was kind of rightfully criticized for being kind of uh, like, uh, a, like a very powerful weapon that just kind of solved a lot of problems. But in terms of uh, in, in speedrunning settings, it's actually very situational. Uh, yes, it's going to be very powerful in this fight upcoming, but after that, um, 
it's more of a situational weapon since the super shotgun and the ballista and all these other weapons that we're going to uh, find turn out just to be as powerful as the lock numbers. Right. Plus ammo is a major uh, yeah, to turret, turret, turret. game. Yeah. So you do have to oh, nice. switch up what type of weapons oh, you're using like all slob. the time. Yeah. Unlike in uh, Doom 2016, ammunition is like much tighter in this game. I remember that being a problem when I first played it casually. And but the, here he freezes the demon just to get uh, headshots with stickies. They deal a little bit more damage. There's complications. There's asterisks to pretty much every statement I'm making right now. So we're not going to go into too much detail. Like his punch. This? Yeah. Slob. Yes. Nice. That is a wonderful weapon tech. Yeah. So you do a, a quick snipe with the precision bolt. So like right click, left click, and then you change to the rocket launcher. You hold shoot, and then the rocket shoots, and then you immediately change to the alt fire without shooting, and then you shoot, and you get three extra lock on burst rockets. So it's like four rockets plus a snipe. Yeah. And and if you do it well, uh, it's so much faster than anything else you can do at this point. So it makes the lock on the OP lock on even more overpowered. Yes, it does. And it's it is still really not as good as we it's still not as good. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're getting oh. ready for a trick that we call the Moroccan spiced chicken with toasted vegetables. This Wait, is not, hold up, hold this up, is hold not up. a joke. This is actually what it's called. That is the name of the trick: Moroccan spiced chicken with toasted vegetables. How are you toasting the vegetables? Well, d d we don't ask questions here. Ask Toast the vegetables. <laughs> Yes. So here we're and gonna do is. a punch boost. And we whoa. Oh, so close to the go. hole in one. Not Still quite. I got it. it. So I've just really? an elevator. Nice. That exists. <laughs> Woo! Oh. The skip is found by Drake, but uh I, I, I stole the the, Drake. the name the naming yeah. process. <laughs> <laughs> so this fight uh, has a lot of timers, and I think we have time for a few donations. I'd love to provide them. Chris Angel Wolf donates $100 and writes, Warning, the BFG-10,000 is firing. The BFG-10,000 is firing. I could not miss the Doom Eternal run this morning. Nice to see Mute playing and a great couch with Kovac, Drake, and Zai. Good luck on the run with good RNG, and don't forget, again, the BFG-10,000 hmm. is firing. Nice. Got time for more? Yes. Beautiful. All right, this is from Anonymous, though it won't be anonymous to somebody. This is a $100 donation. Anonymous writes in, the love of my life is watching in the other room, and this is her <laughs> favorite game to watch at GDQ. Aww. I love you, Ida. Less than three. I, I love that one more. they love sure. Ida. So. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Dark Blob with $50 writes in, I remember doing 100% in Doom Eternal. I was not this fast, especially not on Nightmare. <laughs> I'm excited to see the game blasted through rip and tear. Rip and tear. All right, quickly, we're just going to go through this. This is kind of a hard one. I have to make the one cycle here. Got to first take down this soldier. These take down this cackle demon. Oh, unfortunately, there's one alive. I don't think I'm making the cycle. Yeah. Oh, just oh. barely not making the cycle. That's all right. We made the enemies become soil. <laughs> and now we are on our way to the next cycle. That's fine. So the actual, we should probably mention the story of this video game. Uh, I'm not being. The I'm not story, being, I'm actually? Not actually. Yeah, I mean, there's not, there's not much to say about it. I mean, literally, we are a dude who likes to murder demons, and that is the story. I'm not, I'm not even joking. Like that, that's literally mute that's is literally the doomslayer. Wait, can you explain that one? Oh. I, I didn't pick that up. Oh, I hit a death plane. So there, he hit a death plane. For some reason, there's a death plane there that just teleports you up there. I, I'm guessing maybe they programmed it in to, as like if you were sticking on the edge of the elevator, it might crush you, and then you like clip in and. Uh, maybe hit the death plane, there. but it sticks out much further, so you can just dash boost up into it and, uh, oh, and hit beautiful. the death plane. Oh, oh unfortunate. Uh, still have the wall dash back up. Still got So the here part. we're actually here to pick up the super shotgun, which is maybe hmm. the most overpowered weapon in the entire game behind the BFG. We're going to say hi to Steve. Hi, Steve. Hello, Steven. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Steve. So here we're going to take control of a revenant, and this is like an introduction to the game's multiplayer mechanics, so we're going to play as, an, uh, as a demon and we're going to shoot a bunch of stuff. There's a lot of timers in this fight, so uh, you kind of you can do this fight rather slowly and still do it almost perfectly. I gotta be I don't like Steve, personally. Yeah, I like to murder him after the... No, no, no I, I am a, I'm a pacifist. I like keeping Steve alive. Wait, Kovacs? Wait. I kind of ignore him. He's not relevant. Ignore Steve? I what mean, do you want to do to save? That is correct. Kill, well, Steve. kill Steve. Kill him. Kill him? Kill Steve. All right, let's get the crowd going. If we want to kill Steve? Kill Steve, yes, please. Give us a woo. Kill Steve, let's go. Steve, save Steve. If you want to save Steve, give us a woo. All right, we're killing Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oh, I Wait, love this arena. Bad. This is such a fast arena. So this is the super shotgun. It two shots literally every heavy. <laughs> like, almost every heavy in the game will die in two shots. 
Ooh, very it's very a heat nice. blast rocket launcher super shotgun precision bolt combo. Yeah. It's so fun. There's like a huge combo here. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very beautiful. Nice. Doing that fast. The fight routing in this you, game. You uh, skipped a secret there. Yes, you did. I skipped a what? You, you forgot a secret. Oh, 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 can't go back now. <laughs> Sorry. Can I fast travel? Yeah, yeah. Should okay. be able to fast travel. There. Mm -mm. Or do I want to fast travel? So let's see if we can get this ramp up here. Very nice. Harder than it looks. Yeah. So in this game, we this game doesn't actually allow you to bind uh, jump to scroll wheel, but mm. we, you can do it via the console. That, oh. <laughs> okay. And oh, if it. you scroll, that's how he's actually landing these B hops. He's probably mostly scrolling. Sometimes he's hitting like single jump, like for the space bar to do it. But most of the time, we're going to be doing it with uh, scroll wheel. Okay. okay so this fight has killed me more times than I'd like to admit. Yeah. When I first began, this was a really difficult fight, but uh, now we just uh, we super shotgun. All right, okay. He's just bragging now. <laughs> <laughs> the mancubi, those those two heavies, the mancubus and the snake, or like the the whiplash, Ooh. excuse me, are the uh, are the scariest heavies in nice. the entire game. They will mess you up very quickly. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Harold, Harold the Cubal does not want to cooperate. His name is Harold. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We have very special names. I for accept very that. Very special demons. So here are the fights on a timer. He picks up the secret while he's waiting for this meatball to spawn. Excuse me, Taco Demon. You gotta be formal. It's very important. <laughs> oh. 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 Oops. Oh. Oops. <laughs> so up here, there's actually a potential soft lock, uh, and I hope Mute takes uh, it. I won't hit it. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Watch so, if you go, uh, so if you actually go too fast here, uh, the, game, the fight will just not start, and even when you reload checkpoint, the fight will still not start, and you have to restart mission costing you. 10 minutes, so yeah, <laughs> we want to make sure not to avoid that. Oh, the Hell Knight lived. Sometimes the Hell Knight will live. I'm on? Okay, good. There you go. Just stand on the button. And I gotta go back. <laughs> and I gotta go back. <laughs> yeah, these buttons, if you're already standing on them when they spawn, they just will not respond. You have to wait till they spawn, then you gotta jump on them. So here, this is like one of the simplest skips in the game. Instead of doing this like climbing puzzle, you can just hook jump. When you hook onto something and then jump, it gives you a, uh, a lot of height off that jump. Oh my god! But it also oh, recharges oh, oh, oh. your second jump, so yeah, you can so just uh, jump, reach really jump. big heights. And they actually—that's actually a very intended mechanic. The tricks with the with the the meat hook, I cannot wait. Yeah, oh, yeah. we're 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 gonna get. You haven't First seen you haven't seen it yet. Oh, there's there's a little sneak peek. Well, it's a little later. sneak peek. Just a little sneak peek. We'll tease you a little bit. <laughs> so this is a uh, this is the probably the most choreographed Slayer gate of the entire game. The rest mm -hmm. of them Fun are kind well. of. Uh, are very are kind of random. Um, even the Exalty one, too, even though it's like much better than it used to be, it's still pretty random. Whereas this one is rather choreographed. Very nice. And now he's going to chainsaw because there's a timer. And then this dude spawns. And then he specifically avoided this Mancubus here because it's faster to kill him second. And then the Meatball spawn. Or after you kill the meatballs, scary. yeah, it's still very scary. And now the spider, Lucky. all these spiders are on nice a timer, so you don't have to kill them instantly. So that's There's why he's growlers. going for that. It's great very to nice those prowlers whenever you can. Yeah. While you're waiting for the spiders to spawn, you want to go for the prowlers if you can get them. And there you go. Now the, the fodder should stop respawning after you've killed all the heavies. Nicely and done. And the fight should end. And that is it. There we go. Nicely done. Holy. So now we upgrade Meat Hook and uh, get ready to start going for Meat Hook ticks. So I think this is the first weapon mastery we're going to be aiming for. Yes. <laughs> Did you upgrade Meat Hook? Sorry. Thank you. Yep. He upgraded me. Okay. Okay. Good, good. <laughs> so that's what we're here for. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we do have to upgrade and master every weapon. And uh, we'll get to that a little bit later, but this is the first one we'll start gaining ticks on. Yeah. So upcoming, just remember mute to fast travel after you finish yeah, yeah. this fight. Yeah. I don't even know what to fast travel to. Do you guys know? Uh, I have no. We're going to work through it. Transfiguration, I think? Transfiguration, got it. No way you know that. Drake it knows <laughs> all the call-outs. I have made many spreadsheets. Uh, I've, I've seen the spreadsheets. <laughs> he, that, he's they on the truth. Drake, Documents, spreadsheets, yes. The most organized person you will ever see. Like, everything is organized from Drake. Again, another very choreographed fight. A lot of timer here for a chainsaw. Waiting for a Hell Knight's spawn. Oh, didn't want to say Boom, and then a spider. Oh, very nice. Mm, oh, that's and then after one. this, you there's just a bunch of timers. We're going after soldiers, but heavies are... Uh, dangerous, so we're gonna. Yeah, go these are first. welcome here. And then sometimes them. they spawn and levitate. It's very cool. They're like Neo from the Matrix, just dodging <laughs> your shots. So he has the overdrive power up, which is infinite ammo, and he's trying to uh, also quicker attacks. So he's trying to take advantage of using as many rocks as he can while yeah. it's still up. That was oh, clean. Very, very clean. Nice. Yes, it was. Holy crap! 
So you should be able to fast travel here now? Yeah, mm. I should be. Oh, I it? guess not. Yep. All right, there, there we go. Uh, transfiguration. Oh. I need to go back and grab White screen. this. What a wonderful call out, Drake. What a wonderful call. Thank you. All right, now I just go forward and I press the button. Was this planned? Oh, oh, oh. oh too far. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't happen too often. I didn't I think know we the fast will take you up there. That's I think we have time for two donations. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Actually, no, we have oh, for more. Yeah. I missed something. Oh, hmm. huh. something else. Something else. I, I didn't see it, it, so. Donation time while we ride the sled? Yes. All right. Fletchhound donates $50. It says, I have to donate during Doom regardless, but you're telling me that there are both Doom and Satisfactory prize packs up for grabs. Deal me in. <laughs> Indeed, there are. $50 is the minimum donation to be entered for the Doom Eternal prize pack. All you have to do is donate a minimum of $50 cumulative over the event, and you'll be entered to win. It's got an Archvile statue, some pop figures, some pop art in there. It's a cool package. Something to look forward to. Uh, Neo donates $5, writes, You've got this mute. You're doing amazing, and I can't wait to see you when you're back home. Less Aww. than three. Also, tell Zay, mm. or tell Zai, excuse me, I say hi. Hi. Less than three. <laughs> I got you. Right. Hello, Neo. So Larry just did a little bit of a punch boost. Uh, we should probably mention this game. You may have heard it before when Kovac was talking about how we bunny hop in this game. He said frame, not tick, when he was talking about when you want to time it. And it turns out this game is uh, like frame rate dependent on a lot of things. Uh, you'll notice in the top right, you see a frame rate counter. And that's because in our rules, uh, we specifically uh, ban people from letting their FPS go above 250. And this is just to make it an even playing field. Uh, we don't want people, because a lot of tricks in this game have uh, are, are better at higher frame rates. Uh, but the game also functions rather weirdly at different frame rates there. For example, you, at the very beginning there at that punch boost he did, um, the imps that jump down, they just aren't, they don't consistently jump down at higher frame rates. So he actually manually lowered his frame rate using an external program uh, to 100 mm -hmm. so that they more consistently drop down. Uh, and that's and he's going to do actually do that again uh, later in this very level to make it so that uh, an enemy actually spawns into the level and doesn't just fall out of it and then just take thirty seconds to die in bounds. <laughs> that thirty seconds uh, yeah. is actually thirty seconds. Yeah, it's like it's very painful. Here's gonna you do a fib here? Yes, I missed it. It's pay to lose. I got to be honest. <laughs> so fib yes. is fade in boost. Yes. Uh, did Excuse we mention me. that earlier? Harder than it looks. That one. He was going to do a, a dash storage, which again is just like every other dash tech. He's just going to fly out of this cutscene because the cutscene stops the game from uh, taking away his dash speed. I'm doing it. Oh, you're doing oh. the hard trick? Okay, so this trick saves no time, but it's awesome. <laughs> if you can get it. Oh, oh, oh awesome. unfortunate. All right. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, okay well. well. There's your extra life. <laughs> so you saw it there a little bit. The, uh, it was some slow down time there and use the meat hook. We're going to get to that in a little bit. It is a spectacular piece of tech that's incredibly powerful and awesome. So again, he's lowering his FPS here just to make sure this revenant on the left behaves itself and actually plays the video game. Mm -hmm. Nice. There you go. Fire in the hole. Yeah. FPS right. back on. She also mentioned that uh, he's doing. Uh, he's now being required to do some challenges, uh, and most of the challenges are pretty simple. You have to like pick up an auto map or uh, like kill some enemies with grenades, but they get pretty obnoxious in this run and. Uh, we're going to see a lot of them uh, throughout the rest of the room. So there he picked up Savagery, which just increases the speed at which you can glory kill. Uh, and since we're having to pick it up, pick up uh, all the runes anyway, might as well pick up that one first, uh, because we're going to be doing some glory kills on these Doom Hunter, uh, the Doom Hunter bosses at the end of this level. So this fight is, uh, can be kind of scary because uh, the Mancubus is very spooky, uh, and also those lasers will mess you up. This fight coming up here, there's actually some floor traps that deal damage to the demons. Uh, and with good luck, you kill a lot of stuff. In oh, fact, yeah. in some other categories that like aren't required to pick up collectibles, you just leave the fight and let the floor traps kill as much <laughs> as you can. Like They can kill a lot of things. Uh, but unfortunately, in this category, you have to collect some collectibles. So you have to come down here and uh, that wasn't bad. And watch this oh, cut. Oh, no. Speak too soon. Oh, oh, very dramatic. <laughs> very dramatic. Yeah. So I think we have time for one or two donations. Yeah. Sure thing. Sazume donates $100. Writes, here's to the only gamers brave enough to rip and tear for wonderful worldwide doctors who heal and care. Go get those demons. Let's get them. Yeah. One more. <laughs> sure. Got, uh, got a donation in here from Karagoth. $50. Writes, Mute D6 is slaying this run. Thank well, you. donate another 50 if the couch or host attempts to say, I'm going to work on this, 
The Doom Slayer. Oh, ho. in a demonic voice. Got one person. Okay. Doom Slayer. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. That right, sounds like a fifty-dollar donation to me. Don't look away. Oh. Oh. He's going. Oh. He don't, oh. 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 What? what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> Well, so that is the Yeet Hook, or the Meat Hook, and we call it the Yeet Hook. So in this game... Want to see me do it again? Oh, yeah, okay, let's <laughs> see him do it again. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, hey! Speed. <laughs> so, I mean, that was flashing all, but how much time are we saving there? Oh, uh, well. <laughs> so this, that tr those two Yeet Hooks right there, they saved the, in this category, seven seconds. Yep. <laughs> seven seconds is seven seconds. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh, yeah. uh, that's just because we have to go back anyway. So, like, because we have to do a fight in here, we have to open this door and stuff. Um, but just to explain the tech really quickly. So, like we said, this game is a lot of stuff dependent on frame rate. And for some reason, it, the meat hook gives you speed based on your frame rate. And so, to increase the speed at which uh, it gives it to you, we, again, we limit our frame rate so we can't, you know, do anything Slide. like that. So, what we do instead is we just slow down time. Yeah. So, there's more. Uh, more frames of which you're gaining speed uh, happening, so that way it increases your speed. Uh, that time slowing mechanic also ma equalizes uh, hardware a lot because all you have to do is just charge longer with the t uh, with the time slow. It's very rare that we it, like I don't think I can't think of a single trick where you need to be at 200 frames per second max, like amazing computer, and like charge a Yeet hook from like completely in order to do the trick. So it's quite the equalizer. It, it, movement. It oh. means you can, a lot of different computers can, uh, can use the trick. Mute, watch out. You do not have blood punch. Oh, yes. Right, thank Very you. important, yeah. So we actually save up blood punch for this fight specifically because the Doominer uh, takes more damage from blood punch. And we want to save it. Like, it takes a massive amount of damage. Uh, so there he's just trying to keep his distance. Normally, he'd be trying to do a one cycle here. Um, but yes, it's very spooky. All right, he's good, he's good, he's good. So the Blood Punch also falters uh, the Doom Hunter, which makes this fight much safer. But because he didn't have Blood Punch, it was very, very spooky. Clean fight. <laughs> I think it was chilling the whole time, but I wasn't. <laughs> Your heart was harder than mine. Yeah. All right, so now we have double grenade. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. Oh, <laughs> there's you more. like one? Get ready for two. Yeah. So, so luckily, they spawn with less HP in this, uh, in this. So you're not playing two dudes with full HP. So we can actually clean them up pretty quickly. But mm -hmm. still, this fight's probably one of the most dangerous fights in the entire game. It, it is a, it is a run killer. killer. Yeah. yeah, for sure. So again, uh, he's like safely charging Heat Blast at a distance to falter the demon so he doesn't oh no. get bothered. Oh, boy. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Oh. There you go. Yeah. It is, yes. Yeah. Yes. It was hard. We get to play them again. Yes. So he actually charged Heat Blast as well to pop the Doom Hunter off its sled, but we're not going to do that for the second one because, again, we want to falter it so that we can uh, safely walk up to it and cuddle with it. Can we turn blood off? I'm kind of little. <laughs> a little queasy. Oh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Ammo is very spooky. So if, you, if the fight goes wrong, you got to burn a lot more ammo than you think. Also, there are carcasses, and we will, we will get to carcasses. OK. Nice. Ooh. Hold on. Oh, that's so hard. Well, we're through that. So we actually have time for a few donations. You got it. Bredlam donates $50, writes, What? A Doom Eternal prize pack? And I get mm -hmm. to watch Mute D6 trounce demons at astounding speeds? Ooh. Sign me up, rip and tear. What's the boosting, by the way? I'm jealous. So he just picked up the Ballista, which is uh, kind of like the Gauss Cannon from uh, 2016. Actually, it's exactly the same, but we have uh, different mods for it. We'll get to that in a bit. But basically, all you do is uh, when you shoot it, it gives you a bunch of recoil, and uh, that you can use that to accelerate yourself. And that's, it gives you a slightly bit more speed than a really perfect wall dash. Um, so ballista routing is very, very important in this game. Also, you can combine wall dashes, wave dashes, with ballista boosting and gain a lot of speed. Yeah, wall dashes. So the ballista, even though, even though this game is like kind of combat heavy, a lot of the important bits of the combat is actually just how you move throughout the fight, because the arenas are very large. So you're going to see him there. He actually, we're actually going to very rarely use the ballista to actually kill enemies. We're mostly going to use it to move through the fight. I think that's like one of the only enemies we kill yeah, with the ballista. Much. So, yeah. And there's a lot of complications here. Like, I could go into hours about this fight alone and its qualities. Here he's like, nice. taking interlude out of the fight to pick up a secret. There's also like a bunch of ammo routing there. You saw him attack a Kako Demon with Ballista because it deals more damage with the Ballista. That fight's so um, fun to get good. 
And then he does the, does the dash storage out of it. And now here comes the first glory kill challenge of the run where we have to do specific glory kills uh, for the enemies. These ones are the, this is the roughest, roughest type of challenge in the game. Most challenges are pretty mundane, but these ones are pretty stressful. We think a lot about them. We come up with the routes. We uh, try to come up with combos to kill demons really quickly and, uh, and consistently because there's a lot of complications when it comes to the glory kill challenges. Very nice. Time for a donation? Yes. Okay. I just want to plug this again real quick. Again, that Ocarina of Time beta showcase, that bonus game. Make sure your donations are getting put towards that. And we got a, look at this, we got a donation from Bloodshot. Ooh. $100, writes, hey Mute, super hyped. You get to show off one of the most technical runs in Doom Eternal. With the amount of god gamers we have, we have a gamer pantheon Ooh. that keeps pushing the boundaries of this fantastic speed game. Good luck and remember this. Let's go! Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's Took go. me a while to get that one. Took, yeah, I forgot, yeah. Uh, I've had my voices turned off in the game for a while. Forgot that existed. <laughs> that fight was nasty. We'll explain the con We'll explain uh, that uh, this. The, this. Yeah, no, uh, there are some excellent quotes in this game. Don't you worry. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll, 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 get, we'll get there when we get there. Yeah, oh, the, this arena one, coming up is a we'll get there when we get there. So this is a quad damage arena. <sighs> Hardest in the game. It's, yeah, you have to kill four heavies, four uh, fodder, and then it starts a cycle of things you have to kill. If you miss anything, it's like super difficult. This is really hard. Let's see? One, two. Don't hide. Three, four. There we go. And we'll push the monitor so I can see better. One. Nice. Nice. Okay. That is awesome. Yeah. Oh. Well done. Oh. That is so hard. That is very, very difficult to do. Especially on 60 hertz. Yeah. Shout outs to Bowser who. Uh, who figured out that you could do that? I was I was trying to do like, like I was trying to get the quad a little bit later, and he was like, "Oh yeah, no, you can just get it <laughs> that way." <laughs> oh, spectres, by the way, also pinkies. Yes, but with no armor. Yeah, so invisible pinkies. Yes, you can also glory kill them, and they also count towards the glory kill challenge. And fun fact about spectres, they don't have any face armor, so you can mm -hmm. just shoot them in the face. Right. Unlike pinkies, where, uh, yeah. So they're never mind. Drake, I'm doing this for you. They're spooky. Oh, this is not that hard. Come on. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Well, I don't do it. All right. There we go. Oh, we should probably mention, we just picked up the D-Blade a little while ago, the Destroyer Blade, which is the mod for the, for the, uh, for the Ballista, and it's quite powerful. It's like, it does the same, almost the same amount of damage as a Lock-On Burst, um, but, it but it's like... It's AoE, AoE. Yeah. All right, you're going to see the only pipe jump in the game. There we go. Hey. Nice. It's new. There it's new got nice. And then the Secret Encounter is nice. Um, it's a lot of fun stuff to kill with grenades and stickies after he kills the heavy. Or even tosses a grenade early. I yeah. forgot you can do that. He actually saw, uh, shot a grenade over to the left there just so it would kill the stuff that he's uh, chainsawing yeah. right now here. And you're live. Oh, hi. Oh, would you and oh, uh, yes, those shields are carcass shields that he's shooting through the wall. Yes, we love carcasses here. We love it when they turn into Beyblades. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so there he actually skipped a secret, and we're going to come back to it later with fast travel. I'm actually low on ammo here. Yeah. That's fine. So Super Gornis is probably, I would say, like the most uh, in terms of in terms of fight routing, like very pure in oh, terms oh, of oh, 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 that's not good. Scary. It was very scary. Uh, oh, it's very still spooky. Scary. Such a scary it's place to be low in health. Very spooky. Yeah. Beyblades. This it, is even here scarier. comes a, a Dread Knight. Oh, you gotta go fast so you can't stop and kill him. This always scares me when you're here because the Dread Knight can just like he's, literally, he's literally <laughs> breathing down your neck. Yes. Yes. Oh my goodness. Goodness. They all are. They all are. Oh. Zappy, I hope you know I'm doing this for you. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Okay, okay, that's sick. That was that's very new from what I remember. So again, another punch boost, the gargoyle jumps up and we just like use we just punch it and, and yes, it makes a lot of sense. Nice. <laughs> well done. That is a lot faster. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's okay, it's not that much faster. It's, it's okay. It, can, it's, not, it's not that much faster. It's way cooler. It's not that much faster. Okay. It's way cooler. Okay. Yeah. okay. Oh. It's, it's also not cooler. But. So we have a, <laughs> we have a chainsaw coming cool. up during a cutscene, which is a wonderful use of cutscenes. Yeah. So let's see if we can get, get it. it. It's tricky. A lot of the chainsaws we do in this yes. game are, are free. Yeah. And nice. It's a lot trickier than it looks, yeah. And you can get scammed on that one. It can, like, not give you the full ammo. Cause I don't think it did this time, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think I got 15. That's fine. Oh. That's more than enough. So we spent a lot. We spend a lot of time thinking about routing and ammo routing oh, and trying to yeah. avoid 
chainsaws because a chainsaw can last like three seconds uh depending on the situation like if we're chainsawing heavies they're probably gonna last less um but yeah we spend a lot of time oh nice headshot oh yeah so he's getting headshot ticks now i completely forgot to mention that um, you have to get 75 headshot kills throughout the run, and uh, it kind of slows you down aiming for them. Like, you don't need to go for them all the time, but considering that this category requires it, and there's no other way to spend a mastery token on it, that, you know, uh, it, it just wouldn't be worth it. So it's mechanically intense and involved to aim for those and find the right time to go for it. So yeah, we should probably explain. So, like I said at the beginning, the mastery, uh, this category requires that we also upgrade things. Mm -hmm. um, and when you in this game, you can upgrade weapons via mastery tokens, but you can also do challenges to unlock those uh, masteries. And so the thing you can do for the meat hook is that you uh, just kill an enemy while you're um, while you're hooked onto it, and you have to do that 50 times, and then it'll become mastered, and it'll give you an upgrade that we'll talk about later. And then the same thing for the precision bolt, you uh, do a challenge like kill 75 uh, enemies with headshots, and we've routed like little spots there. Like while he was waiting for the door to open, he would be. Um, I'm going for headshot, headshots to complete the mastery earlier. Uh, we actually need the meat hook mastery specifically uh, for a challenge later on in the level, so that's why we started upgrading it earlier. There's a lot of complications with, with routing masteries. Uh, I, we've made docs, Zaya and I have made <laughs> many documents. Docs. Like, we so spent many what's hours. on his mind right now? What is he like focusing on the most for masteries? Just Probably meat hook, right? Meat hook and, he and headshot boss, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pretty much. I usually get those earlier than other runners. But... <laughs> He's bragging yeah. again. Because he has go. so much good aim. Yeah. <laughs> I play a lot of Kovacs. Aim trainer. Mm. <laughs> Kovacs? Kovacs. Kovacs? Kovacs? Kovacs. So this slur gate is kind of like the Exalty one, except unfortunately the heavy spawns at the end uh, are valid. Like, they all spawn in, in balance, so we can't actually abuse it to uh, complete the slur gate early. Um, there, not all, every fight acts like the way the, the, these two Slayer gates. It just happens to be that these two like, act in this weird way where if there's nothing alive on the field and the fight will end, even though if something spawns, you'll then have to kill it. Um, so it's very strange, but unlike in this fight, we still, it's still pretty random where sometimes you can get extremely likely, like Zaya over here, like, killed this Dread lot. Knight. Trust me. Killed this <laughs> Dread Knight and the fight ended, and we were like, oh my goodness, he saved like 20 seconds. No, it was so. intentional, of course. Yeah, of, yeah, of course, yes. Where's that pinky? There it is. Oh! oh. oh. Very is that it? No. What's a lot? Just, just be you left. Come here. All right. I think we're. Oh, um, yeah. we're yeah. done. We're done. Hopefully, we're done. We're done. Yes. That's right. it. Ah. Nice. All right. And and the so escape. Now. So, optimally, you get what? Like, if you do this perfect, what's the time? This? Uh, you can get it, like, at 81 if it's, like, perfect, perfect. 81? Yeah. Oh. I remember, it's like, 78 was max, max, max. I've gotten 80 once. Uh, you, you gotta be cheating. I I've never <laughs> got... Like, what? I'm telling you, Mute's movement is amazing. Oh. Specifically, he's, like, the best in the world at this spot, but nothing will save you from that carcass. If you get hit by that carcass, which I always do, <laughs> you, will, oh, nice. you will never get a good time. I'm nowhere this. near the uh, good time, but... I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> it's effectively RNG, but your yeah. movie yeah. is still amazing. Oh, thank you. So now we have a speech from our good buddy Vega, uh, and they're going to like just talk for like 40 seconds, and we're going to take that time to collect some stuff in the Fortress of Doom. Ooh. So we actually have some time for donations. Perfect. Yeah, we're doing right. some spring cleaning. You got it. Base Q donates $50, writes, This Doom Eternal is extremely satisfying to watch. Rip and tear. Absolutely. And we have $500 from Zai. Writes mute. Wow. Yeah. Who? Who? <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of the entire Doom speedrunning community. Oh, let me try it. Let me try to do my King Novik here. Rip and tear until it is done. Tear. <laughs> yeah. yeah. More. You got <laughs> Lots <it>. more. <laughs> Absolutely. Anonymous donates $50, writes, Meat Hook is known to make things fast, but these runners are definitely going over the speed limit. <laughs> no such thing in Doom. Panda Swin uh, donates $50, writes, Doom has always been in my heart ever since I was a little one. Doom 1, E1, M1. Nice. Still the best game soundtrack there is. Let's go get that shotgun and rip and tear. Rip and tear. We're doing it. Klondike donates $50, writes, this run has been totally worth waking up early for. Rip and tear until it's done. Good morning. 
And we got a follow-up here. Kargoth comes in with $100. It says double 50 for the two incognito demons. Nice. It's the most profitable Slayer's Lament I've heard. Hmm. Banana Boy donates $20, writes Doom Eternal with a quintessential gamer on the mic. Sign me up. Very glad to have you signed up. Mm -hmm. Very good. Chabrowski donates $25, writes, I love this marathon. I love the cause. I love chats. I love everyone involved. Thank you for being the best humans, less than three. I love you. Whoa. Oh. I do. Our complex, I do, I do. the speedrunner's nightmare. Oh boy, Our the first... speedrunner's nightmare in every category. I swear, doing the first like two and a half minutes of this feels like six plus minutes. It's just so involved. It's... Watch, watch this after the elevator. It's also very scary because the fights are unlike a lot of the fights in this game. They're in closed spaces, which means very scary. He's spacing out his rockets very particularly, but even then, it's he's actually killing space? this. He's shooting the rockets at his feet, like. <laughs> yeah, excuse it's me. It's very risky, but yeah. Um, so that mank wasn't actually required, but he killed it just because it would mess him up. And so here we start to see the full power of the destroyer blade. It is absolutely oh, magnificent. Oh, oh. This this uh, upgrade. Also, cat jams in chat. Best music of the Best game music right the now. Game. Let's go. Huh? Oh, oh, hi. Oh, hello. Okay. Now we get the chain gun. We skipped it earlier. Yay. Yes, we skipped it in the last level because uh, we're, we're, we're gaming. Mission challenge. Whoop. So this is another one of those... Uh, oh, five, nice. Nice. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, so you gotta kill, uh, you gotta kill six enemies with, um, with the enemy shields by shooting the plasma and having it explode. Yeah. Again, another illustration of the power of the destroyer blade. It really makes short works of these fights. It's like a mini uh, BFG. Yeah. Also, using destroyer blade um, basically upgrades itself so we get it yeah. super fast. This is one of those masteries where it's so good they use it so often. Uh, the, sorry, the, let me explain. The mastery uh, challenge for this is that you need to kill three demons in one D-blade shot. You need to do that 15 times. But we're going to use it so often that it's like we don't even think about it. Like unlike Precision Bolt and um, yeah, unlike Precision Bolt and uh, Super Shotgun, we don't re really have to worry about it. We just we just do it. <laughs> Oh, yes, the music. It's glorious. <laughs> Down. Right, Pause for like 10 seconds. Down. Oh, perfect. Nice lineup. Nice. Oh, that's wonderful. Nice. So oh, the challenge in this down. level is that uh, we have to break the turrets of the Revenants, and the developers probably intended that you just shoot them off with the Precision Bolt or the Ballista, but you can just chop them in half with the uh, Destroyer Blade, and that just counts, and that just breaks the turrets. So that's what he did there. He actually took the time there, specifically for that reason. Oh, oh my goodness, that feels oh, picky. Go away. Mm. This fight is, like, a lot of the fights in our Complex, you're just going to notice that we kind of just casually ran past, like, a hell of a lot of the Hell Knights, or a hell of a lot of uh, demons. And that's just because a lot of fights in our Complex are just so many demons that aren't required. Uh, yeah. This is another one, example of it. Like, the fight ended yeah. there, but there's, like... You didn't kill a single demon that wasn't required. Yeah. Yeah, the very specific ones are required, yeah. so you have to know which ones you have to kill and hunt them down aggressively before they run away and get a line of sight. And by required, what does that mean? For the fight to end, or...? For the fight ready? to end, yeah. Yes, Slayer Gate. This is the hardest gate in the game. The hardest gate Drake. in the game. This is probably the hardest fight in the entire game, and if you were scared by the, the do double Doom Hunters, don't worry, here, here are some tyrants for you. And Whiplashes, and Mancubuses, yes. and Baron, and a Doom Hunter. And I can understand probably, you know, at this point. <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna talk. This is, this, is, this is one of those fights you kind of have to improvise. Yeah. Oh. I'm enjoying watching this, but I gotta I gotta jump in with some donations. Is that all right? Go ahead. Okay. Arrhythmia donates fifty dollars. Sorry. Writes best mover in the game. Love you, mute. Love you too. <laughs> oh god. So good. Chiron Z donates twenty five dollars. Writes hey there, early morning GDQ. Glad to get to watch GDQ live while working early this morning. Nothing like seeing the Doom Slayer rip and tear to get me pumped. So happy to see the crowd back after having a chance to finally donate to this awesome cause. Nice. Keep up the good work runners and GDQ staff. Thank you. There it is. It's so, so easy to die in that. that oh my, what? That was the oh final boss. Oh, don't worry. Is the the Slayer Gates that hasn't finished, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so that Slayer Gate's scary because we mentioned earlier that the snakes and the mancubus are kind of the scariest enemy. And normally that's fine because, like, 
we can choreograph them. We can spawn camp them and do stuff like that. But in that gate, they just spawn in random locations and in random amounts. Oh. So either you, you get three Manx or yeah. three snakes, or you get a combination of the two. Like, and then the and then you have two super heavies which are introduced in the late game, nice and then a third one which is introduced in the mid game, and then a fourth one which is a boss. He just picked up so many weapon mods. Energy shield. Can you explain yeah. that one? So energy shield is makes. Nightmare much nicer to play because Energy Shield is quite powerful. It's the Chain Gun mod. Uh, chain Gun's quite of a weak weapon unless you're playing Unrestricted. We won't get into it. <laughs> um, but it is powerful defensively. The Energy Shield has 600 HP, and the Doom Slayer Maximum has 250. So we literally double, triple our HP by using it uh, when it's out. So it's a, basically a cheat code to keep yourself alive. If you're struggling to beat this game in like casually to beat Ultra Nightmare, Highly recommend you get used to hitting that chain gun button. All right. So upcoming is a trick where we oh, skip five. a fight trigger. Uh, we're going to start a fight, and then we're going to skip part of it by jumping over the trigger that would spawn it. And then we're going to hit a trigger to despawn some enemies, and we're going to explain why a little later. But first, he's going to go into a specific spot here just to avoid hitting the trigger. And he's going to jump over it. Very nice. Ooh. Nice. That's hard to do whenever you're learning to do a speed yeah. run this game because you end up using the macro to jump. You try to do it, and then you just don't get the height. Yeah. The macro has a weird property where it eats the, the first ballistic boost. Scroll height. jump specifically. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. We should clarify. Like uh, In this game, because, uh, in, because in the unrestricted categories, um, having a free scroll mouse was very adv advantageous, we allow the usage of a macro. Uh, that acts as an emulator for that. So that's what he was specifically referring to. Some runners still use the macro for uh, restricted gameplay. There's some advantages and disadvantages. Again, uh, it's not, you know, we're not using it because we oh, believe macros are, are a good thing. We're using sure. it because uh, we're using it because we don't want unfair advantages in our game. So here we're picking up the Berserk upgrade. It makes us pretty much indestructible and awesome, uh, ripping off snakes' heads, etc. Um, and while we're doing it, we're we're not taking any damage. So this is actually quite safe to do. That's why we actually like pick up Berserk. I love this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he's trying to avoid this thing called the spawn cap, basically, by throwing the grenades and killing all the little tiny enemies afterwards. Yeah, because you're going to see in a bit, he's going to do a trick here. And that trick's going to skip a despawn trigger. And in this game, when you have enough enemies live, more enemies won't spawn. So he's actually killing a bunch of enemies here. The fight's over, but he's going to actually kill some more enemies. Uh, to get rid of them just because uh, the enemy cap is really high. So he's going to do a trick here that looks kind of mundane, but it saves like five minutes. Nice. Got the here it is. Too. There's turret skip. So he just skipped like half the level. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, since this is 100%, he is going to come back to do a lot of stuff. Yeah, so <laughs> what we're doing here is we're specifically going to the end to get fast travel. And uh, we're going to use fast travel to complete the rest of the level. And even if, even if we account for what like... What a boss fight? What boss fight? Goodbye. Have a good we, day. We will cool. not elaborate what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that, that dude had a family. Like, come on. <laughs> no family left. So the trick the turret skips specifically, what he's doing is he's uh, skipping a bunch of elevators in the level. And then we're going to replace those elevators, which are much faster fast travel. Mm -hmm. So that's why he uh, did the turret skip. Wow. And now he's coming back to the airplane that we skipped earlier. This routing is also very new. Yeah, yeah. It's really, really nice. And it's still actively being developed. There's actually a lot of uh, routing ideas for this level. Cat jams the chat. <laughs> oh, here we get trolled. Someone's hiding. Hi. Yeah, there, there you are. Yeah. Sometimes the enemies can hide on those stairs. Very unfortunate. Uh, maybe we forgot to mention something. Oh yeah. So the reason we were killing those enemies when he did that turret skip that he flew over and uh, saved. Skipped half the level. He skipped a despawn trigger for all the enemies. Oh, 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 oh. that's very spooky. Oh. So he skipped a despawn trigger, and that's why he was killing enemies just so uh, he wouldn't have to go and hit that despawn trigger. It's a little slower to hit that despawn trigger, and then come back yeah. back out and do the turret skip. Oops. Nope, not my premises. All right, a few. Uh, <laughs> I think we can get one donation. Yeah. Got it. Hi. Hello. You can really Hello. Hello. <laughs> Tofu Slayer donates twenty-five dollars. Writes GDQ is temporary, but. Doom is eternal. <laughs> there he is. Eternal. <laughs> Sorry. I've I can't been practicing do that for like the last two days. <laughs> time for another? Yeah. Yeah. You got it. Anonymous donates $5. Says longtime watcher, first time donator. 
But that's great. Any small amount of money matters. Uh, a $10 donation can purchase 45 emergency food rations, and a $25 donation can purchase life-saving treatment for 15 adults suffering from a malaria. So please don't think any amount is too small. It's all going to the one of the best causes there is. That's insane. Thank you. So there he did something kind of funny. Uh, the Destroyer Blade, when it fully charges, it does a little damage to what's in front of you. So he aimed the Destroyer Blade at some barrels. And we upgrade barrels. Uh, we upgrade a suit upgrade here to, so that when a barrel explodes, it gives ammo. So he just turned around there and blew up the barrel with the Destroyer Blade Shockwave just to get that little bit of ammo from it. There was a line of sight check on that Hell Knight spawn, by the way. So yes. he was looking uh, in a specific direction, hoping it would spawn there to trigger the next wave. This fight has an essay attached to it, believe me. Oh, yeah. A That's huge a... essay <laughs> in this fight. So complicated. Yeah, and there's, like, routes. I'm like, oh, boy, don't get me started. You, you get really lucky and end this early, but it's uh, it's super hard to get yeah. that right. Oh, like the 1% chance. Yeah. I've gotten this a total of two times. Not going to get it this time, but you can end the arena before you actually kill these spiders. Oh, there you go. Hello? And, and, then uh, they, and then the DMs will hide, of course. DMs? Oh, there we go. There we go. Got oh, him. Oh. <laughs> Man, he found you, I think. <laughs> Cordo's all levels are high when playing this video game. <laughs> Not doctor recommended. <laughs> I think we can squeeze in one donation here. Easy. No executable. Donates $25. Says, hi, mute. That's some fine ripping and tearing. Thank you. I hope you're not going to shoot a hole in Mars. Or... Eh. <laughs> no. Dr. Hayden was very specific about that. No. <laughs> no you wouldn't no want to do that, no. Of course not, no. Why would we do that? Yeah. So a cute little trick he just did there. He actually jumped over a spawn trigger. There should be a bunch of enemies in that hallway. I think you found that, Maddie, right? I, I, you... no, I don't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you'll do that when, when, when people run hundo. They, they usually... You, a symptom is uh, memory loss. Oh, nice head. <laughs> what are your ticks at? That looks pretty high. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm actually on the lower end. I would have like 50 or 60 by now. <laughs> D-Blade once again showing how awesome it is. Right. It's so nice. Yeah. White screening. If you tap twice, you can move when you're white screen. Oh yeah. yeah. When you fast travel, you can actually just cancel the the like the, the movement lock after the fast travel just by opening the dossier and then closing it again. So <laughs> that's what you're doing there. That's actually what makes uh, a lot of fast travel routes work mm -hmm. because we can just you know we don't have to worry about uh, okay. losing time to that. I actually really want a headshot. This is slightly warm. So I'm just gonna. Oh, <laughs> that's fine. You say low, but compared to some runners, you're well on pace. <laughs> Very nice. And here he's just going to fast travel to the end of the level. And the level is... Done. done. Mar uh, our complex. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, yeah, let's <laughs> our complex is a nightmare in this game. The category. hardest yeah. level to, uh, to survive in. It is so hard to survive in that level. I'm so surprised I didn't die a single time. There was... It was uh, very... There yeah. was a big segment where I could not die. If I died, I would soft lock. Yes. Well, I have three lives, as you can see, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I believe. Oh, <laughs> we have time for, like, three donations, I think? Yeah, we got a 25-second elevator ride. Yes, I mean, yeah. right... Now, okay, donation! All right, all right here we go. <laughs> uh, Nel mm, Neloku donates $25, writes, Absolutely love the work that everyone in this event and community does. Keep up the amazing work. Here's to breaking two million. Can I get a... Hoi! Oi, 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 oi. Oi. Beautiful. Oh, <laughs> I like that one. And we have $500 from Kovac. Uh -oh. They write, Mute D6 is doing such a fantastic job showcasing the wildly high skill cap in 100% Nightmare. The mix of precise movement tech, high APM combat tech, and mesmerizing aim brings me great joy to see it live and in person. Absolutely. Got an anonymous $125 donation. No message. Thank you very much. And another anonymous $5 donation. Says longtime watcher, first time donator, less than three. Love to see it. Just as a reminder, we do have a couple of incentives. The Liminal Ranger upgrade to true ending incentive has yet to be met. About $1,700 left on that. So if you can uh, throw some donations that way, we can get that knocked out. And then again, 
There's this Ocarina of Time beta showcase coming up, so make sure to make sure to put the incentive on your donation when you donate. Hey, okay, here's the first fight. This is uh this is the most complicated fight in the entire game. The most complicated. I have spent fight. many hours looking at files for this fight. Uh, and it look it won't look complicated, but uh, aside from that, it's personally the, the I think imps. it's like my, my these two fights right here are probably my favorite fights. Like casually speaking, like this is the point in time where I went, oh yeah, this game's awesome. This game just balling. Because like, look, like, look, consider the context here. You're a dude who likes to murder demons, fighting demons on Mars while a giant, like, gun is shooting stuff in space. Like, it's ridiculous. I love it. It's no, but ridiculous. it warns you before it fires. Yeah. Warning. Yeah. You have to mention the music. Do you remember what it's it said? And the music's awesome as well. Like, it's, just, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. I love it. Really. I'm here. I would like to change that. Thanks. Good chainsaw timing. So in this level, we're going to pick up the big friendly gun, also known as the BFG. Friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, it is an extremely powerful weapon. I wouldn't... I, I, you could say that it kind of trivializes uh, combat in this game, but there's a lot of complexities with it uh, that we're going to get into. It, it's, it's its own beast, and it makes combat its own uh, kind of thing. It's too powerful sometimes. It's, it's too... Yeah, it's, the power of the BFG. It's kind of powerful for some PCs, too. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, after this... After, this is pretty much the last level, like, up in... Like, Right now, there you go. And now the game completely changes into something of a completely different beast. We're going to BFG maybe most of the fights in the entire game. Um, interesting thing about the BFG, the the zappy zaps, the, the tendrils as we call them, or the zappy zaps if you want to be awesome, <laughs> they deal more damage when your frame rate is higher. So you're going to actually see Mute fire the BFG and then swing his da head down very dramatically. Uh, but I, I, please don't. <laughs> it scares me every time. I can't even watch. Well, there's there's a reason. Uh, and that's just because... Uh, He's wrong. Just, just like when he bunny hops, like it helps actually deal a little bit more damage oh, in some instances. Here, I gotta wait a little bit longer. There we go. Yeah, and he's uh, looking okay. away. You know, if you do that, I'm chilling. Yeah. And he's looking away specifically to increase his frame rate. You may have noticed as well when he was bunny hopping around, uh, sometimes he'll look downwards. And that's also because it increases uh, the frame rate. Yeah. And make and if even if he's at 250, it increases the stability of the frame rate and makes it easier to bunny hop. Or makes it more consistent rather to bunny hop. Oh, wow. This fight's on a little bit of a timer, so you're kind of just waiting and you can just get some precision bolt ticks here. Oh. I love the ballista boost oh, out of that up. fight. <laughs> it's so cool. He uses the ballista damage and to back away. Yeah. We have time for a couple donations. Sure thing. Snow donates $250. Writes, good luck and have fun. <laughs> Thank you. Devo donates $100. Ooh, right. Devo. Uh, Mute D6, the man with the moves, backed up by a star cast on commentary. Can't think of a better cohort to present this excellent game. GLHF. Devo. Devo, thank you. What a funny guy. <laughs> Good line. We love him. Then uh, Anonymous donates ten dollars. Says rip and tear it. Oh, oh, you're already done. Oh, <laughs> good job. <laughs> Going a little bit too fast. That's great. Are you gonna do the BFG chase? Please. Don't. No. No. <laughs> oh, that's. I'm, think, I'm thinking about. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You guys implemented that? No, 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 no. Oh my God. No. Is that no, a thing now? No. Mm, in no. Ace. No, it's not in Ace. No. Okay. <laughs> no. Not. To you guys got me excited for no reason. Ace is not arbitrary code execution in this game. It is all common encounters. The That's fights that are required in this game are called combat oh. encounters. Oh, yeah, you can do that with that portal. That's weird. Yeah, you can do that. So we're waiting for a snake to spawn. We just kill some fodder. That fodder actually respawns. It actually isn't required. We're just waiting for the snake here to spawn. Or as we like to call it, the whippy. No whip flesh. There's so many, like, what-ifs I had that no one ever did, but it's, like, insane that you guys figured this stuff out. Yeah. Clean movement. So upcoming is uh, the first instance of a fight where like tendril damage really really ballista helps. Boost. Oh, also this this lurch hop into ballista boost is awesome. Nice. nice. Mars core movement so satisfying. Keep going, keep going. And then oh, we, we, by the way, that okay. We'll talk about the Arlos in a second. Here we're gonna do a BFG star here. We're waiting for the spider in the back to spawn, and boom. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think he just broke his wrist. Like what was? <laughs> That'll so the, from left, yes. the Arbalist, uh, the mastery is that we just have to kill meatballs with it. So. You look down to scare me, I'll just oh, be honest. Get the gargoyle? You get the Arbitech? Oh, this, oh, this is awesome. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. You're literally shooting, you're hooking off the, hor uh, the corpse of a meatball. Hmm. Wow. 
think we have time for one donation. Sure thing. Athenreal. It's like that name. Donates $25. Simply writes MSF Go. Nice. Let's go. So this fight, uh, we're actually... This fight isn't required. The only reason we're doing it is because the door we just came through is locked. And you'll notice that we actually slipped a... Uh, we slipped a Sentinel Crystal. We're actually going to pick up that crystal later because it's an ammo crystal. And we're going to double BFG the Slayer Gate. And that way we can uh, get two extra more, two more BFGs. Mm -hmm. uh, but in order to go back for it, we need to clear this area or hit a trigger. And clearing the area is a little faster. I love Mark Gore's music. It is, it is such good Mark's music. Version. This Slayer Gate used to scare me a lot. Yeah. Just because of that first Marauder here, right yeah. here. There's actually fun zone for it. <laughs> so while he's waiting for the Marauder to run up, get some Hedge Optics, and then we're going to bamboozle the Marauder again with, uh, with the Ice Bomb. Uh, for those of you wondering, um, you can't actually do this trick in current patch anymore, um, but even if we didn't, even if we played on current patch, we, Marauders still wouldn't be a problem. We have a bunch, like, whoops, there's literally a billion ways to kill Marauders nowadays. Uh, so here he's damaging the, uh, yeah, and also looking down. <laughs> okay, it worked. The... it worked, but not because he looked out. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Got it. Nice. Yeah, that, that's actually, it actually helps me to look down there. Uh, it actually, like, it scares me. Because <laughs> I don't have enough frame rate for the Barons to, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Gotta, I'll give it gotta to gotta you. Get that FES. Well, we, have, we have computers here. Still, I don't, like, what's we're matter? paranoid. We're paranoid. Even, yeah, when, I, true, 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 even yeah. when I upgraded my video card, I was still looking down. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the final weapon we're going to be upgrading the micro missiles. Uh, we're not actually going to use their intended effect because uh, yeah, we, have, yeah. we have other things that are way better. Oops, <laughs> oopsie. Oh. Um, and nice all you have fight. to do is just uh, stick three demons uh, fifteen times, and we're just going to do it when there's downtime in fights. Mm -hmm. um, this is one of those things where if it's a completely free mastery to get if you're if you're very. <laughs> Should I do pineapple? Uh, nah. Nah. Okay. nah, 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 nah. SpongeBob, what? So it's a it's a very uh, scary mastery to, to to complete freely because you're gonna do a bunch of the ticks on the final boss, which is very very spooky. So this fight's pretty self-explanatory. You just uh, lock down three heavies, and then after this, we're gonna break a Doom Slayer, Doom Hunter out, out of its sled, and then just BFG. Fights do become simple in some ways, but also way more complicated in others. And then Dash Torch. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, oh, he lived. Uh, oh, that's why we looked down. <laughs> that is why we you, look down. Why don't you look down? Yeah, why don't you look down? <laughs> Use a good PC. Uh, I thought. I trusted you. Blame GDQ. I trusted you. <laughs> so there's a bunch of meatballs here. In real runs, I don't think we'd be doing nearly as many, but again, this is a marathon. <laughs> we, we, we don't want to want to be safe. Show off, you know, and we want to be a little safe. Yep. So this comes up uh, to the mid-game boss, yeah. Sentinel Prime. Bit of flashy movement here. Uh, we don't have too much to say, so this is yeah, probably no. good donation time. Great donation time. Got a good timeline. Donates ten dollars. Writes, "Thank you for ripping and tearing, and more importantly, gaming and caring." Ah, that's cute. Yeah. That's really cute. Danny donates ten dollars. Writes, "You can't just shoot a hole into the surface of Mars." Oh, that's what we did. Yeah, <laughs> did it anyway. Happy to see one of my favorite runs in SGDQ. <laughs> nice. Foolish Samuel Hayden. <laughs> Thought you were a doctor, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, of backwards ballista boost after oh. wave dash. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Very nice. nice. How's that? Harder than it looks. It is. Oh, dash boost. There's no collision on that. There's actually, a, it's very funny. You can get out of bounds in Sentinel Prime just by double jumping. Oh, yeah. It's very. You can do it in a lot of places. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is true. So, this fight uh, upcoming, the first phase is very easy you, because we have a really quick one cycle. Uh, and he won't even have a chance to attack us. Or rather, he'll attack us, but counter. Bang. Oh, uh, unfortunately. Okay. Let's see if we can try one more time. Oh, what? That's he is misbehaving. That should be not happening. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Nice. And there we go. That's the one cycle. So right now, if I were streaming back in my home, I would be showing the Kirby plushies, but I don't have them. We have you. We have you. We're supposed to we do something like this, uh, but... We do a little there was Kirby. a rehearsal we forgot. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll do a little Kirby dance. We do yes. Kirby. And they stay out for the rest of the run. So this phase is very choreographed at the beginning, but then after that, it's very scary. Um, he's going to 
bait him forward and then do some pot shots. Bait out a sh bait an attack with the energy shield and then rockets. Mute. Kirby is watching, so you better not mess up. Oh, don't worry. Kirby, nice. I'll let you down. Oh, 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 oh wait, no, what? Let's go. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It was, is that consistent or you no. just got so lucky? I just okay. got lucky. Yep. Oh. Woo. Well, okay. Yep. Okay, maybe it is. Kirby's a good luck charm. Kirby is a good luck charm, I'm telling you. I'm going to put him away. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, no, 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 no we need a luck. Is that a gold? That truly is a gold. It, possibly. Probably, yeah. Could probably. Be. Maybe like a. 2.45, give or take. Probably, but yeah. I think we have time for a few donations. Great. We got a $200 donation from Anonymous. Ooh. It just has a lot of thanks to give. It says, thank you, runners, couch, Lawrence, crowd. Come on, crowd. You, get, you guys just got thanks. <laughs> Chat, you guys got thanks too. Tech team, QC team, and MSF. Y'all are great. Let's go. Woo! Got one from Lucid Architect for $25, writing Rip and Tear. I have watched GDQ Live before, but I'm donating for the first time. I played Doom with my dad as a kid, and the entire series will all be will always be dear to my heart. Donation goes to naming Link in Ocarina of Time Crivino. So this is Taurus Nabod. Oh, my, oh, oh, oh. my favorite level. Yes. No, it is not. It is very not. So this the reason I now. really don't like this level is because uh, we rely on the BFG to get kills on super heavies, which are rather inconsistent. So you're going to see Mew to very rapidly flick his mouse downwards <laughs> after firing a BFG because you kind of, kind of I mean, are I, hoping that it works out. I dare out. you not to. Uh, you can't say no to a dare. Uh, Do you no. want to lose 14, <laughs> 40 seconds? Like, no, I just want him to say no to a dare. Uh, no. Otherwise, the level's actually quite great. Aside from the you know the BFG not killing Archviles, which we'll see shortly, um, it is actually kind of a great level with a lot of interesting movement and, uh, and routing options and stuff like that. So upcoming is the, the introductory fight to the Archvile where we get to meet the hated enemy that will not die to the BFG. Hopefully it does, but... Hopefully it does, yeah. Uh, hopefully it does. We're also going to do a cute little trick here. He's going to start the secret encounter right after he starts a cutscene. Uh, he gets it here. I'm going to do a ballista boost backwards. And there you go. Nice. Cute little trick. So two cutscenes are playing at the same time. Here. He gets uh, our ballistic oh, oh. and then awesome. flies backwards. Got it died. died. Oh, it died. Yes, oh. Thank God. Oh. So what happened there with the meat hook is that the pain elemental shot skulls, lost souls, and he just happened to hook onto the uh, onto the lost soul. And when that happens, just all chaos breaks. We have no idea why it works that way. <laughs> sometimes you'll just go straight down. Sometimes you'll fly backwards. Sometimes I don't know. That was so risky, yeah. so scary because the arch file was like all the way up in the corner. Yeah, but computers are good here, so it's. If I can <laughs> hit this, no, 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 one it's, thousand no, shot. it's the look down. Oh, are you gonna? Okay, go for it. Trick shot. Oh, trick shot. Trick shot? Oops. Do you get it? I don't know. I don't think I got it. A little it. far right. Uh, I don't think so. Ah, oh, so close, man. So in this game, if you hit scan weapons like the ballista and the precision bolt, when you fire through enemies or water, it will just go straight through everything. And so he shot the precision bolt into the water and then hit the button like deep If you dash diagonally in water, you dash faster. The Pythagoras is very angry at right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's also a weird thing. He's just ice bombing here uh, because uh, there's an ice bomb challenge here. It's free. And I'm I'm trying to learn this level currently. Like I'm learning how to speed run this category, and this is what I'm up to. And oh, this level, so many things can go wrong. Yeah, most of them being BFG. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So upcoming is a uh, we, we kind of we kind of haven't mentioned yet. So I mentioned earlier that like the BFG has its own complications, and one of them is crashing. So mute's a crazy person, and he gets blood fueled. <laughs> Uh, which is that upgrade we got all the way back in Cultus Base, that snow level. Um, and when you fire the BFG towards the end of a blood fuel effect, or when you're getting... Oh my goodness, God. Oh, dude. Or my when you get hit by a Cybermank, there's a good chance you will crash. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And he... Do, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gotta risk it. He had both of those going on at the same time. Yes. Why are you increasing my quarter, please? <laughs> How I didn't Very crash? Stressful. I don't know. I should have crashed there, I'm not gonna lie. My heart hey, stopped the first time took damage. So sometimes he'll fire a BFG early to avoid the end of a blood fuel. Sometimes he'll just wait till the blood fuel runs out. 
Uh, and yes, it is, it is very spooky. Oh, uh, I got the and, money. <laughs> and for a long... <laughs> oh, yes. Sometimes when you... Oh, by the way, we're skipping a section where we lower the water just because we shot the button through the wall. And as a result, <laughs> when that. exiting the water hitbox, we can... Wait. Oh. As a result, sometimes that can happen. Also, we're picking up the Slayer Gate key here. Again, this is a fast travel routing. We're going to come back to it later because we'll have Crucible and BFG to do the Slayer Gate faster. Oh, my goodness. Very, this this spot just, is... No, Very risky, also. After this, hoping it kills it. Mm -hmm. Please. Oh, nice. it did. Thank God. <laughs> Fight's over. Two out of three. Two out of three BFGs. Once we get to the, the third, I will <laughs> clap vigorously. <laughs> <laughs> I will be very, very happy. So Marauders, again, they get distracted by shiny objects, so we <laughs> shoot them. <laughs> very shiny, very shiny. Gotta keep them shiny. Now some good movement. Probably good donation time. Yes. Sure thing. No Speamy donates $25. Writes shout-outs to Mick Gordon, one of the best composers out there doing this game's OST justice. Can't agree enough. Nice movie. Beringi? Donates ten dollars. Right, it's been watching GDQ ah. for six years now. First time donating. I had to donate during the Doom run. The techs are outrageous and a really enjoyable run to watch. Cheers from Belgium. Cheers. Oh. Cheers. Hey, if you're hearing this and you're a no time donator, you could very easily become a first time donator Ooh. right now. That sounds enticing. Yeah, there's there's a lot of good incentives. We actually have a bid war open right now to decide the version of Grand Theft Auto Vice City. That'll be played later, either the definitive edition or the original version. Some people might have strong opinions about that. <laughs> so Mew just skipped an entire section. It's pretty easy. It's just that Ash Boost and then some Ballista. And here we're going to pick up our third Ammo Crystal, which will refill our BFG. Also Codex, of course, 100%. <laughs> Got to pick up thing. Something I like I'm that not... you did the Dash Boost, Mew. I'm very, I'm very happy. <laughs> Oh, I oh, 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 that would have been bad if I... Very bad. Oh, oh. So, there, so the death planes under this area that he's just in, they don't spawn until, like, like we skipped spawning them. So if he fell out of bounds, there's, like, no way oh, to get back out. Oh, that's why it breaks. I never knew that. Yeah, and so, like, I lost the run to that once. Like, I had to reload, and then, yeah. And the weird thing is, is if you reload after you pick up a crystal, it just forgets that you picked up a crystal and you have no ammo. Yeah. Um, so it would have been very bad. Me and Sefi actually were doing 2P1C Doom Eternal, and uh, <laughs> that happened. We fell out of bounds, had to reload checkpoint. Eh. Yeah, we lost that BFG. Had to reroute the fights. It was fun watching them like, talk to each other. Like, we do this instead. Yeah. I don't think, yeah, no one's ever really played two player, one controller for Doom Eternal. Was, oh, no. Oh, okay. So here he's doing a little bit of skip. He's skipping. Uh, Turning on the uh, the boost pads, uh, and he's just he's replacing back. them with dash uh, with dash boosts. Okay, the incorporation of wall dashes is insane. Yeah. It, it just speeds everything up so much. It really saved, it really made the early game like awesome, because like any any area before uh, before you get the super shotgun or um, or the ballista, you just had to rely on lure traps, and that was and because the frame timing is very very like precise on that trick, it was kind of. It, it uh, wasn't very fun. Getting that secret your first time, how many times did you fall and try About to About a billion. <laughs> yeah. It, like, it took me a while to just straight up remember which direction I had to go down. Yeah, but, yeah. like checking on the mini-map, like, mm -hmm. is it there? Oh, I, I probably failed like eight times in a row. <laughs> yeah. You might be wondering why I haven't finished the, the Pain Elemental Glory Kill Challenge. Well, I'm about to now. Oh, yes. Coming up very soon. So this is the first uh, Pain Elemental we're going to actually do part of the Glory Kill Challenge. Right. This is the first one? Yes, actually, yeah. Uh, okay, so that, risky. that means... Front, inside front. and back. Wow. Side and back. So you have to kill uh, three nice. Pain Elementals with a, with a different Glory Kill each time. Uh, and there's our first, and the next two are in the Slayer Gate, and they're the final ones. So if he misses them, he might have to... So there's, there's more than three in the level. There's like six or something? Four. Four? There's only four? No, no there's, there's a five. There's, there's sorry. Five? Sorry, sorry. Yeah. But he leaves the last three. It's because they're the most yeah. consistent. They're the, they're the fastest and the most consistent. Okay, okay, okay. I like the Riz. So now we're going to fast travel back to complete the Slurgit. How are you doing on the uh, the Ice Bomb Challenge? Actually, I should check. I think I'm complete. I'm pretty sure I'm complete. Not too sure, but... Okay. Side and back. Side and back. Yeah, I'm done. Nice. All I need right now is... Painkiller. Painkiller. Easy. Right now I'm Later. <laughs> So this is the reason why we uh, why we do the Slayer get second because we now have, we now have a lightsaber. So 
And that's back. Oh, there it is. Man, that was done. <laughs> nice job. That can kill your run in Ultra Nightmare, too. Don't crash here. Man. Wait for Blood Soul to Please. Four. <laughs> nice. That can kill a run. I can kill a run very easily. I had like a 50% crash right here. Yeah. Oh, that's Be weird. Before we understood what caused the crashes, it was uh -huh. very rough. I am so sorry, Zai. It's tough. I'm spinning because I have to look in a specific direction. <laughs> And it's just easier to spin. Otherwise, the game won't let you out. It, it's very funny. Oh, watch me. Watch, watch, watch this little bit of movement right here. Yep. Bam. Yeah. Oh, I missed it. So you could do a fade-in boost there. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. It's yeah, the sure. only like fade. It's the only like fade-in teleport that actually like puts you above ground as opposed to on the. Ground. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Now uh, we have a lot of time. We yeah, do. we have. Uh, Four and a half minutes. No, of... this is this is this is three minutes. Don't worry, it's three minutes. Okay, it's oh, you love donations, <laughs> yes. Okay, well I have to apologize. First of all, I've I've rused and bamboozled everybody because the GTA run already happened. Oh. But we do have another incentive to uh, determine the dialogue language for control. Right now, French is in the lead, but we've got a couple of other options there: German, English, and Spanish. So throw money at whatever language you'd like to hear. Speaking of, we have a fifty-dollar donation from Helix. Who uh, takes a little, a little poetic approach? Writes, "Roses are red. Annihilate the room. Hell is temporary. Eternal is doom." Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, that was clean. Oh. That was nice. Clean. <laughs> uh, Dolan donates twenty-five dollars. Writes, "Mute. It's so good to see you and the couch at GDQ. Good luck, Bell Gang. Bell Gang. Bong. Bong. Mm, gotta love the sound of good RNG. <laughs> yep." <laughs> Opaque Dreamer donates fifteen dollars, writing, "I'd love to see how long Mute D Six could last in the old level Icon of Sin." <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Demagico donates ten dollars, writes, "Good morning, everyone. Awesome to see Doom here. Good luck and keep on keeping on." Hype, 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 hype. hype. And then we got the Altar Maven donating twenty dollars, writes, "Last donation for this marathon here." I am to believe that the BFG is also aptly named because the weapon leaves behind a different kind of BFG. Blood, flames, and guts. Nice. Do not forget, they are rage, brutal, brutal without mercy, but you, you will be worse. Rip and tear until it is done. The classic. We love it. So good. so creative, I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Austin K donates $400. Right, it's happy as always to support a great cause. Absolutely. On that note, North by Northwest donates $250. Wow. Writing, in a time more important than ever for healthcare, thanks for supporting the cause as always. Happy 2022 GDQ. Yeah, the demon invasion. Everyone needs healthcare. <laughs> we have a few more. Sure. <laughs> dork with an exclamation point. So, dork! <laughs> dork. Donates $25, writes, thank you for an awesome marathon, and thank you to my partner of nine years for being awesome. Happy anniversary screening, and happy birthday to me. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. Nice. It feels birthday, man. <laughs> so if anyone can find a way to skip those uh, battery insertion animations, oh, yeah. we would... We would, yeah, we would we would give you hugs and kisses. Yes, a lot. A lot of them. A lot, a lot. Chocolate, too. It Cookies, takes, I mean, yes. really... Uh, Anything. Yeah, we would name a day, day after day in the year after you. Like <laughs> it's, a, it, it's seven seconds each for battery insertion. That, it really does take a long time. So upcoming is the now we can't return to the Fortress of Doom. So that's wait, what did we just get by the way? Oh yeah, the Unmaker. We don't have to worry about. Oh, it, right. it's powerful. <laughs> what do you mean? We don't use it's, it. It's some, <laughs> okay, it's a thing. It's a it's thing. some gun. It's based off a pun of some. Yeah, well, yes. but but it's but its power is staggering, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so we can't go back to the Fortress of Doom. So we just wanted to pick up everything there right now. Nice movement, very good. And here's our second last uh, Sentinel Crystal. But we forgot to mention that the Sentinel Crystals have some effects, uh, like like when you uh, upgrade a combo, they'll do things like uh, decrease the cooldown of your Flame Belch, which is really nice for safety. And then there's some Blood Punch routing stuff that we don't really need to get into. Um, but if you're wondering like why is he suddenly getting his Blood Punch back, it's because um, healing effects are uh, filling up his Blood Punch meter. So this fight's on timers. You can take your time a little bit killing the tyrants uh, because you have to wait for some stuff to spawn anyway. Oh, that was so clean. I love hearing the, <laughs> yeah. like, the death sounds. The little pops, yeah. yeah. That's good. Uh, 
think we have time, time for, for a review. Yeah, uh, one donation. Uh, Tall Shade of the Color Red donates again with $50 in all caps. Says, oh my god, batteries, my favorite. <laughs> oh, I love batteries. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, those toy animations and collectible animations, you can skip by changing weapons. Um, yeah. But mm -hmm. sometimes it's hard to time, and things just don't work out the way you hope. So uh, upcoming Samuel Hayden's going <laughs> to play the role of a dungeon master, and he's going to give us a lot of exposition, so we're, we have plenty of time for donations. Great. Kyle Ellis donates $100. Writes, Lawrence convinced me to be become a first-time donor instead of a no-time donor. Yeah. Good luck with the rest of the run, Mute. Thank you. And Snap donates $25, writes, is it really true? Can I, a humble no-time donator, become <laughs> a first-time donator simply by <laughs> clicking this button? Oh my god. Ooh. It is true. It's I that easy. Know. Great runs, great vibes. GDQ is a highlight every year. Thank you very, very much. And Jonathan writes, okay, you've convinced me, donating $25. First time donation, and I just adore Doom speedruns. Keep up all the great work. All right, so upcoming, we're going to actually see a little bit of weapon tech because there's billions of, I mean, there's so much weapon tech in this game, and this is a niche one. If you uh, chop something with the lightsaber, sorry, the crucible, uh, <clears throat> and then switch out of the weapon oh. before, like, right as it hits it, uh, oh. then the crucible won't be consumed, and we call that crucible canceling or slash canceling. Hey. Are you going to do it? Yeah, he's going to do it here. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! Okay, so that's, that's a weird, right. another weird bug. If you kill one of those eyes and then pull out the uh, pull out the crucible after you, like, right before you kill it, as as the eye dies, uh, all your crucible will just disappear. So you have to wait before you can uh, before you can pull out the crucible. Here he's going to do a slash cancel. There you go. And he lost no crucible ammo there. And that's actually quite nice. Uh, we're going to use that a few times. Might use it for a Doom Hunter sled. That also applies there. Uh, you can use it for the con maker and icon of sin, but we don't really need to. So that's a rare instance where it actually helps. Mm, the trick and the trick and treat challenge. <laughs> there we go. He needs the challenge for the stompers now. Yeah, so we just gotta wait till they good. fall into the crushers. Fun fact: uh, those stationary crushers that aren't uh, that aren't uh, player controlled, they also count towards the challenge. So if you want mm -hmm. a fun little challenge at home, you can try and lure them into the one of them crushers. Upcoming, he's going to use a bit of tech, another, uh, we have so many niche tech for weapon. Oh, yeah. Uh, called Energy Shield Vacation. We're going to put the Energy Shield on another weapon. Um, and that's going to allow us to avoid taking uh, damage, which seems extremely powerful. But the main reason we're using it is so that we don't get aim punch. Uh, there's a lot of caveats with Energy Shield Vacation. Uh, like, for example, that it just, like, it increases your hitbox and some other weird unintended side oh, effects no, 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 that no, aren't no, no, good. No, no. Okay. Oh, that was almost... Sometimes when you uh, chop uh, with the lightsaber, just okay. like, and another demon's by, you can actually just chop two things and then lose a uh, crucible charge. So the energy shield vacation seems super powerful, but that's literally the only instance in, I think, mm. any category we've been able to actually find where it's actually useful. And we only use it to make the BFG lineup consistent. Aim punch is a wonderful mechanic, I swear. We love, we love this mechanic. We love it so much here. Oh. Ooh, close. I think we have time for a few donations, right? Is there anything else to explain? Yeah. Sure. Queenie writes in with a $5 Ooh. donation saying, partner asked me to watch once, now I'm hooked. Nice. It's a good thing to get hooked on. <laughs> a few more. How, mm, how Berdier? How Berdier? Donates $25, writing, hey gamers, GDQ is such a glorious demonstration of the craft of game design and the art of smashing game design to pieces. It's very apropos right now. So pleased to be donating for the first time. I'd love to see those first time donations. I love a lot. Let's mm. do the edge boost, yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so unfortunately you got the timing, the Marauder fight took a little longer and he missed, so, missed the cycle here, so he has to wait. I'm actually not sure what the Marauder did that kind of made him ignore that ice bomb. Do you have any idea, Drake? No, it's some rocket, dude. It's yeah. <laughs> there was it was just the first good. rocket that missed. It is simply it missed a classic everything. Marauder moment. Oh, my God. Ow. Oh, 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 oh yes. Yeah. Ramp Dash, Dash existed. That's never happened. <laughs> no, I've never seen that. I, I've seen Ramp Dashes there, but never in that spot. Not on that side. Yeah. It's usually the other side. So, again, we're waiting for the Baron to drop down, so we're just... Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, he dropped. Do you have... Uh, oh, you have oh. extra logs, though. Do you have Meat Hook Mastered? Yeah. 
Wonderful. So we need Meat Hook for the for the next level for a challenge there. Uh, Meat Hook, when it's mastered, turn for some reason the flame or the hook like becomes on fire, and when you set a demon on fire in this game, it uh, uh, it drops armor. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that was rough. Yeah. So that BFG lineup he was specifically doing to break the Do Doom Hunters out of the sled. It's kind of random, well, this but is hard. sometimes it can break both of them out. This um, can get scary too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But luckily, this BFG route makes it nice. much okay. nicer. Good. Yeah. That thing it's, it's so glitchy. Yep. I've seen run in, runs in here too. Yeah. So many. You, yeah, the reason we're scared is because that's a glory kill challenge. You have to do a glory kill on the Doom Hunters on that specific side. Like, mm -hmm. By the way, a little tip for the glory kill challenges don't jump. Don't jump. don't jump when you're doing jump. when when ground enemies when you when you're in the air even if you're like a centimeter in the air it will just be oh so you're above them and then do an up like a glory kill from okay. above. Okay, here is the most complicated fast fastly done challenge probably of this the whole game. So this he's gonna do the uh, blood punch challenge where he has to get five collaterals with blood punch and he's going to use the effect of uh, of the Sentinel crystals to recharge Blood Punch. And if you can do it correctly, then you can, or if you get lucky, you can get all five Blood Punches. But four is perfectly fine. That's really good. used, oh my gosh. So it was the health from the Ice Bomb that gave him more punch, more punches. Then there was the, the, the armor also. Yeah, from the Meat Hook. And he has to like very slightly be off. So he only hits <laughs> a few. You don't actually need to look down there. I don't know why he does. I used to have it. Right, I'm, I was telling him all the time. We'll make fun of it. Yeah. <laughs> Force a habit. Force a habit. Oh, this is an awesome fight coming up here. Oh, this oh. Is oh you guys ready? Yeah. So remember that uh, Undermaker thing we, we picked up? Turns yeah, out it does that? have an actual use. Uh, only one, but you know, it's a pretty nice one. Uh, and there you got the Blood Punch Challenge. That's a very nice backup. We're just clearing some fodder while we can here. And then we're going to pick up this uh, yellow ball and... <laughs> <laughs> Infinite ammo. Infinite ammo. Infinite Normally ammo. this would cost BFG ammo, which yeah. you would never want to waste the, the, that on the Unmaker. Yeah. But it's free. So it's a good gun then. For thir yeah, a couple seconds, yeah. <laughs> a couple yeah. seconds. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, that, that's patched in, in later patches, so yeah, we can't do that in later patches. But it's fine. The fight the fight is pretty fast even in, even in later patches without the Unmaker. Mm -hmm. uh, upcoming is the... The, the most famous quote in all of uh, in all of Doom Eternal. The most famous quote. Oh, Off. I didn't get the. <laughs> you can fast travel for a little. Believe in yourself. Fly. Fly. Oh. oh. <laughs> Please <laughs> let me up. I wanna go up. I believe. Gift I can. Yes. Oh, I got back up. Let's <laughs> he go. actually got up. What? <laughs> <laughs> I learned that from Darave. Oh, we didn't get the quote. Did he say? Oh, this. There this. we go. This area. Yeah. This. I didn't even know that backup existed. Another glory kill oh, challenge? No. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. No! Oh. 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 Scary. But uh, you still got that secret, so that was pretty hype. Yeah, that's true. This is, a. Uh, remember when we said challenge in this game were kind of, uh, this is the level. This is the level where it's the, it's the most rough. Yeah. yeah. There are two glory kill challenges in this level. Yes. And so that would have you can only do them once. In Ultra Nightmare. Yeah. Uh, oh, that, that would have run, ended in a run. Oh. Uh, maybe not. Please, please. Our trial, behave. Okay. <laughs> we do it again. It's fine. So yeah, uh, look at the timer. It's one hour and forty-one minutes. Yeah, that would suck to lose around to that. So. Also, cat gems in chat. Very important. <laughs> if I watch the vod and there's no cat gems, I'm going to be very upset. I'll be disappointed. Nice. And now, can I? Uh, first. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. Oh, Can't do it from that angle. Yeah. He was trying to do a what we call a fun zone, uh, where you stand at a specific, specific spot in front of the Marauder uh, to cause it to attack you instantly when it spawns. Unfortunately, you can only do that when the Marauder spawns facing you. And because he was, uh, and every enemy when they spawn, they spawn facing you, or th at the beginning of their spawn animation. <gasps> oh, yeah. nice, very nice. Nice <laughs> strat, by the way. One of the last uh, last strats he left behind before he retired. You're welcome. The BFG route, <laughs> Bonk Cloud. The, the Zyber. He left out, right? Yeah. yeah. You have more behind after you after you. I am playing on this lovely sky pad, zero initial friction, on the super light, super light uh, final mouse, provided me by Vaunt, by Zai and Kovac. Super amazing. I never thought I'd see a glass mouse pad. Yeah, or, glass mouse pad. Actually, quite nice. I on, can't believe with you're a really forty-eight nice. gram. Mouse. You got those yesterday, and you're using them. Yeah, yeah. they're, they're I pretty can't good. Believe it. They're pretty good. So okay. once again, Sam is uh, acting the role of dungeon master and just 
explaining the lore of the video game mm -hmm. very dramatically. Um, Is there like a synopsis? Because I don't remember a single thing that he says here. Apparently, angels just want energy from hell, and 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 they're sending literal demons to Earth to to get it. Oh, I forgot the blister boost. <laughs> Oh, it's very dramatic. Nice. Very nice. That was boosty. You gonna do? You gonna do soul converter? Uh, not feeling it. Oh, okay. That's a trick here. It it saves more time in other categories, but it's also very. Yeah, I don't have ammo. Risky. And the ammo is ammo is low in this category, so it's kind of risky to go for it. Nice movement. So up here, he can he can actually avoid hitting the cutscene by just dropping down here and tell and basically death plane puts him behind the cutscene trigger, and so now. Uh, if he hits them both at the same time. Is there supposed to be? Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, oh, ha, hi. <laughs> Spot him. <laughs> hi, Mom. <laughs> oh, nope. there you go. That was the cutscene he was trying to avoid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he accidentally flew back into it. So we're chainsawing here twice so that we have enough rockets for the final glory kill challenge of oh. the video game. This one I is think. hard. If I can hit a first try. So let's see. We mentioned this tech a while ago called slobbing or Siler lock on burst. Uh, the effect of it is that you can actually like look away and the lock on will still be active. So that's what he's going to do here. And he's looking up to avoid carcass shield, so it goes over where the same is going. Oh, oh no. Okay, so now oh, that's unfortunate. Mm. So sometimes when the when the tyrant is cha cha sliding like that, it just doesn't stack. Uh, stack. Number five. So this is the only tyrant in this entire map. You have to get a specific glory kill yes. on it, and if he's sliding, you can't get the there glory kill at all. There we go. Yeah. Nice right. job. I love Rough that strat one. because you're literally like, you're literally not even looking at the dude and he's dying. It's great. I love it. So now we just have to kill some stuff, get some free arbalist sticks, and then we're oh, going to... Oh? Anime strat? <laughs> Anime strat. <laughs> <laughs> Teleports behind you. Teleports Nothing. behind you. Oh my god. Nothing personally good. <laughs> So now he's going to cool. do a couple of collectibles, do a couple of donations, and then we get on to Erdak. Mm -hmm. Easy. I'm looking forward to this one. Mm. I have a $200 donation from $200 donation. Who writes, <laughs> I have a $200 donation from $200 donation. Wow. Oh, that's nice. 200 And I really like this one. So uh, let's see. Yeah. Alter Y Guy donates $20, writing, There was a young man named Mute who won't let the revenants doot. The demons were shook by his mighty yeet hook and he made it look a right hoot. Go fast, lad. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> got to be. Especially got to do it on this level. Oh, yeah. This is the good stuff. Yes. So this level is Erdak. It is, and this may be right off the very bat. bold of me to say, but it's the greatest level in any video game ever. Nice. <laughs> there you go. That's, if you're not convinced already. Oh, <laughs> I mean, nice. You just skipped the whole platforming yeah. section. Yeah, there's, there's a ton of amazing movement and combat in this level. It's like skill can shine. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're just going to take a little break between the action just because this fight's on a timer. But we're going to get right back into the action. In the meantime, he's going to be doing uh, micro missile ticks, which is actually kind of convenient. This makes this is one of the fights that makes micro missile really, really nice in terms of routing. Blood punch. Uh, hello. Uh, there we, we, go. Love, we love blood Fourth punch. Fourth try is a charm. Oh, uh, <laughs> MMA Pro. The first three times. MMA Pro is showing that after you blood punch that Cyberman, you can actually shoot its carcass for a micro, micro missile tick. It oh, that's it. right, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of jank in this game. Just... So, Maker drones, when you headshot them, they drop all full ammo. So, we're going to be using that instead of chainsaws to refill our ammo. Here, he leaves the fight and then just like cool guys don't look at explosions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He has to wait until a certain wave spawns or else. The BFG shot just won't work. Yeah, if he goes into that hole too early, then the fight will despawn and his route, his run will no longer be legal. You can despawn a lot of fights to finish them, but it is kind of lame when it's a combat category. Very nice movement oh, through the hole. Nice. So smooth. Once again, Destroyer Blade is baller. So now we have to wait a little bit for some stuff to spawn. In the meantime, we're going to be charging Destroyer Blade. Boom. Mud punch. <laughs> And then slob to kill a pain on really quickly. Hook out. And then once again, cool guys don't look at explosions. <laughs> Upcoming is the most deceptively difficult fight in the game. Like, to do this really quickly. Oh, unfortunate. So sometimes when you're doing some weapon tech in this game, there's some tech we haven't, we've completely glossed over and haven't touched on. And in that instance, he didn't do it properly. And as a result, he, uh, 
he had a, a mod out that wasn't the correct I scrolled one. I for one extra tick. Yes. <laughs> so two Maker Drones here, very specific ones. Two Maker Drones. And one then one Dread Knight, and then we can ignore the rest here. Yeah. Because they're all respawning butter. Oh, the funniest skip in the game. Oh, oh this skip is hilarious. By the way, it's very easy to do casually. Chop, and then walk <laughs> past the door. And there you go. And there you go. You can actually, in other categories where that fight isn't required, you just walk past the door. And, <laughs> he and comes charging go. through it. <laughs> and then, ah, Later. I'm here to fight you. And then, and then just wait, leaves, refuses yeah. to elaborate. And the door closes right behind him, so yeah. he's just, just over. One of the jankiest marauders in the game. Ah, yes, same punch. Ah, oh, yes. Hi, same punch, yes. Hi. We love same punch, Hello. Once hey, again, Ben Boozling, Thank Marauder. You. All right. So here coming is a skip called Daddy Skip. So there Vega, uh, in this cutscene, it turns out, oh my goodness, Vega is the father. And we're going to skip this cutscene, and that is why it's called Daddy Skip. Very nice. Nice. Clean. Very good. Let's oh, go. Easy. Come on. Now, another trick. There's more. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Want to see me do it again? The other direction? Yep. <laughs> Let's go. Yes. yes. Woo! This fight is great. So this fight, after you kill the two heavies, just the timer, we're going to damage the tyrants. We don't actually have to kill it fully. We just have to damage it uh, like so, that we can, so we can finish it off with the BFG. I and then that fight that. we just skipped is actually required, but it's actually on full of timers. So we're going to kill it with this BFG. So we're going to kill two fights with one BFG. Take a look at the top right of the screen for the, the tracking. Yeah. Three out of 10, four out of 10. And you can also see the hit marker in the center of the screen here. Yeah. As the BFG starts hitting enemies there. And the reason we do this is because that fight it just has like a 40 second timer before the final enemy spawns. So rather than just waiting, uh, we just leave it and then use the BFG from the previous fight. Was it you or Bowser who figured this out? This thing? Yeah, this BFG, this collateral BFG. Uh, I think it was Bowser. I'm going to say me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I have no idea. Bowser, donate and let us know uh, if uh, Zai is lying. <laughs> I think you figured out the Yeet Hook. Uh, sure, Bowser figures out, figures out everything. I don't know. You figured out something in this level. One thing, twice. <laughs> <laughs> Bowser, don't even let us know. <laughs> so upcoming is, uh, is a fight with another bunch of timers. He's going to do half of it, and then he's going to leave. Uh, and very awesome. Yeah. Again, so, Butte's movement. So clean. This level is... This is the only chainsaw on the entire level, and we do it just for a quick kill, not even for, like, ammo. So here he's going to kill Snake, and then he's going to hook out of the fight. Oh. Nice! Oh. <laughs> Man, that thing I said about skill being able to shine here, skill is shining. Yeah. Mute, you're amazing. Thank you. Oh. You as well. So now a timer is playing during that fight, and by the time we get there, we're going to kill one more enemy, and everything else is going to spawn. So that's the whole reason we do that, and I really like that we do. It's awesome. You also notice that we actually skipped uh, entering the fight normally. And um, there's actually a fight that we need to do. We're just going to go back and clean up with fast travel. <laughs> He's just dancing around right now. More meat hook tech here. You don't have to slow down time for the meat hook. It's just uh, it's required for like bigger uh, distances. So here he's going to... Oh, and leaving the fight is even scarier than entering it. So first he's just going to get his ammo back. Chop. Lock on. Lock on the snake. And then he's going to... Hook off an enemy, and then cool guys don't look at explosions. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh, nice. You got it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Even the movement after. Oh. This entire level is like full of swag strats. Like it's yeah. just it's just great. Zephy, that one's for you. <laughs> Got the dash torch here. You can do a dash torch underwater. I think the water is slowly going down, and you can see where we're going at. Boom! Oh. Right out the water. Oh, oh almost. almost got it. <laughs> what is that one called? Dash torch. It's not the dolphin. Like <laughs> the dolphin. I like the name. Okay, we're calling it the dolphin. We're calling the it the dolphin. dolphin. New name. Yeah. Oh, no. So here's it. the fast travel. Just gonna quickly go backwards and clean up this fight. So we have a secret encounter here. Just the D blade. And then we just punch the, the Doom Hunter. And then finish up the last encounter and head toward the boss. Oh. <laughs> this Dread Knight is literally like part of one fight. Like that's that's the, that's the one fight. Like, <laughs> that's the only enemy part of But he fight. stood there like menacingly. And here we have menacingly. God. I will not elaborate. We're fighting God. Yep. Um, he delays uh, 
the final shot there because if he goes a little too early, then the cotton maker will just freak out and do some crazy stuff. <laughs> also, cool guys don't look at explosives. They just don't. It's illegal. Maker uh, drones, please. Uh. Okay, great. Totally, yes. I love and that you're doing the swag strat. It's slower, but it's I love it. <laughs> Looks cool. It, it, I love it. So here he's slobbing, a, a, like, one of the 10 billion effects of, of slob is that when you have dual lock upgraded, the subsequent lock-ons come out a little faster. So that's why he's setting up the slop here, so that uh, more rockets come out a little bit faster. It saves about half a second each time. Yes. <laughs> yes. That was so it. smooth. <laughs> oh. it's, the, it's the mouse pad. I'm telling you. <laughs> Man, that was such a clean air deck. I don't know that I saw a single mistake. That was very good, yeah. So Final Sin, uh, the first half of the level is awesome, and then we have the final boss, which is kind of an auto-scroller, so we're going to be cooling down a little bit, but the, this fight is probably one of my favorite in the entire game. It is a, like, I really like this fight. So here now he's going to damage the carcass here, and that's just to manip some stuff here. Okay. So he's firing that BFG in a specific spot. There's a lot of complications here. Everything he's done so far, like staggering the carcass, has a purpose. Same thing with the BFG location. He shot at that specific location for a reason. And now we have some timers. You don't actually have to rush these kills. He's hiding behind the wall to take little damage. Hi. And then chop. And now we have like a long timer here. I believe it was like 15, 10 seconds or something like that. And he's yeah. going to do some macro missile ticks. Because I can. Yes. And then we're going to chop this dude. My favorite animation, by the way. I love Good animation. Very good. Chop, chop, chop. Yeah. I love the thump when he drops the first time. Thump. It's just great. Like, developers have a great sense of humor. Really. God bless you, bro. <laughs> I love these little things. Hi. Yeah, I'm going to chip in with an un unprompted shout-out to id Software. Thank you guys for Doom Eternal and yeah. years and years of amazing shooters. Yes. Thank you. Let's clap. Yeah. 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 Man, what a, what a gaming company that defined my life. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. He was trying to skip an animation there. <laughs> Would someone kill the city of police? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this. Love... Funny dialogue. <laughs> this is the best. So this fight actually isn't counted, but it's it stops progression. And at this point, we're kind of swimming in BFG. I can't... Oh my goodness. Oh. Aim punch is very scary. Nice. Nice. Right. nice. That chainsaw is very important. Okay, so upcoming is the second last fight of the entire game. He's gonna do some awesome movements. This is so cool. Oh, you're not getting the crucible? You're, oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't get the crucible. You're crazy. Oh, nice. I think I just barely made it. Yeah. Uh-oh, a little bit of spawn cat issues. That's not okay. too good. Hmm. Just gonna have to clear some extra fire. Didn't clear enough and starstrucked. Yeah, probably not. Hi. So, Hi. The first fight of the game doesn't have a despawn trigger. They just kind of forgot. So we oh. we have to clear extra stuff. Uh, oh my goodness, this fight's scary with the buff totem. Oh. Yeah, the buff totem increases the attack speed of, of the enemy, so it's like very, very scary. And now uh, one of the a, a brand, the final upgrade of the entire game is that the con maker just gives you two blood punches. I don't know why, but like it, it exists. And so we use those two blood punches. Yes. You're not worried. I wasn't worried. I wasn't worried at all. <laughs> Subtle thing here, he's gonna stay on a specific spot to manipulate a spawn location, and that's to get a free chainsaw. I don't know why the, the zombie, like I found this, and I don't know why the zombie has uh, has location requirements, but it's very nice. So here is a very hard oh trick. My God, See if you can I get love it. This thing, you guys are geniuses. Oh, this trick's so cool. No, what? Where's the red? Oh, okay. I take that back. <laughs> that's, that's impossible. Uh, that's unfortunate. Huh. Oh, Sometimes that's so the red, he he dashed back I've into never a trigger. Seen that. Oh, that's unfortunate. This is a really cool trick. The rev just doesn't come up. You can reload if oh, you want. Hi. Mm. Yeah, you can actually. If you want to show it off. Mm. No, I want you to show oh, that's it off. Right. Wait, show it? No. Show this off, yeah. show it off. Oh, yeah. This backup's great. There we go. Oh, that's unfortunate. I am fumbling. I am. <laughs> I we love collision in this game. Oh yeah, you can dash up this wall. Yeah. <laughs> this is patched out as well, but it doesn't really matter. All right. So now this is the part where we finally upgrade everything because again this require we're required to upgrade everything as well in this category because we're weird, um, and he's just going to avoid upgrading stuff that he's going to na uh, master naturally. 
And we're actually going to do the final upgrade, uh, final mastery of the game here. We're going to actually master nat naturally master energy shield. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to fire the BFG and then have the energy shield out when it deals its damage. And for some reason, this only works on the Icon of Sin. And when... There you go. And you know, you look, seeing people play this boss for the first oh, time... Oh, did you not take the damage? Oh, we didn't take damage. Hmm. What? Oh, the BFG missed. Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. Still fixable. Also, I think he's missing a couple micro missile ticks. Yeah, missing like two or three micro missile ticks. Right, it's okay. not a big deal. Yeah, yeah. Not a big deal. So what he was trying to do there was he's trying to hit the Icon of Sin with uh, BFG while the energy shield was out. And when you do that, it just counts towards the, the challenge, which is that you have to deal 20,000 damage. Um, while the energy shield is out, um, and the BFG deals 10,000 damage, so uh, to the icon of sin. So uh, all we have to do is hit two shots while the energy shield is out, and uh, there you go. The challenge is complete. It's it's absolutely free, which is why we don't even worry about it. Most of the mastery challenges that we do nowadays is, are completely free. Like um, mm -hmm. for good players, headshot, headshot, and um, like pretty much all of them except Arbalist are pretty much free in theory. Nice. There you go. Bottomless yep. missiles finished. So now all he has to do is uh, all he has to do is finish the energy shield upgrade and not die. Oh my goodness, it is very <laughs> scary sometimes here. So Luckily, scary. they give us a mega. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, carcass oh, blade nice delayed. Carcass blade delayed. Oh my hey, you guys have any shoutouts? We are almost done here. Uh, energy shield. I have a quick shout out. Shout out to mute. Drake Bows and Rytro in the crowd who have made an excellent tutorial for the series and other series as well. Uh, you guys are so helpful. Thank you. Thank you. And there we go. He finished the final mastery and now he just needs to not die. And time is coming up in about no, 10 seconds. In about like 30 something seconds. 30? Oh my god. I keep forgetting how long this, this fight is. So this fight's actually an auto-scroller because we have to wait for the icon to go through all these animations, and all these animations are mandatory. Even if you killed him instantly the moment, uh, moment the fight started, you have to wait for him to do all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to go out of bounds, quote-unquote. Uh, this is the sky view. You can just kind of go up here just to watch the icon of some dude's stuff. But yeah, like... Oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much. Thank, thank you, GDQ, for wow. having me. Everyone, nice. time is now. Thank you so much. That is Doom Eternal 100% Nightmare. What was, my, what was my time? Two hours, 20 seconds. Two hours, 20 seconds. Nice. Oh, I'm going to make the ass of it. I am so sorry, but thank you all so much for having me. This has been great. Shout outs to everyone who supported me. Thank you so much. I love you all. You can find me at uh, twitch.tv slash muti6 underscore. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you all have a good day. Mm. All right. Well done, Mute. Less than three. Yeah, let's hear it one more time for our runner, Mute D6, and the wonderful couch, Zai, Kovac, and Drake Foes. What a great run. Ooh, a lot of high intensity ripping and tearing. We have a couple of donations to follow because, of course, we do. Doodle Schmoo donates $25, writes, loving all that you doom here, GDQ. Uh, Rip and tear until you know when. And then uh, John Smith donates $100, writing, I read that in order to host this run, you had to have beaten Doom Eternal on Ultra Nightmare. Please confirm. Well, I'm here and I'm talking, aren't I? That says something. But yes, thank you all very much for uh, joining us with that Doom Eternal run. Up next, we have Control. Very excited to see that too. But uh, first, we're going to take a quick break. Just remember, and I'm going to borrow this from uh, one of our wonderful donators, individual runs might be temporary, but doom is eternal.
All right, welcome back to Summer Games Done Quick, powered by Twitch. I'm Brenna 12, and it is my pleasure to be your host for this year's Control All Bosses Speedrun, brought to you by Demonic Robots. Yeah! <laughs> Now, there is a bid war still open determining whether Jesse will be yelling at the hiss in English, German, French, or Spanish. So make sure you, that you get those donations in if you want to have a say in what language they're going to be using, because that bid war will close once the game gets started. All right, let's see what donations we've got. All right, I've got a $10 donation from Yorchi that says, first time donor, smiley face. I was always ashamed for spending time playing games until I discovered GDQ. You made me proud to call myself a gamer and feel part of a community. Thank you for absolutely everything you are doing. Love from Siberia. And seeing we have another one from Putes and Mar Mauricio for $50, hey y'all. Thanks for all the great work you do every year. We're super proud of my nephew who recently started speedrunning Celeste, so hoping we'll win that sweet signed copy of Celeste. Love from Switzerland. All right, I've got a $50 donation from Sassoon and Kari for $50 that says, take control. And then I have a $75 donation from Threshold Kids. Oh no. Needs to get this donation in before heading off to bed. We'll catch the controls run on VOD. Here's to all bosses in Czech Notes German. Good luck, runner. Thank you so much, Threshold Kids. You are very terrifying, but it's much appreciated. 